What's up, everyone? Silver Dragons here. Who's ready for an awesome night of auctions and giveaways? We're going to be doing a giveaway here at the start. So that's going to be very cool. Super excited for that. What up, Silver Nuts? What up, David? How you doing? Uh, Coho Val, good day. Dan B, Old Silver. Let me get a little more tunes back in here. Awesome. Uh, real quick before we start, uh, we are going to be doing a giveaway here right at the launch, so stay tuned for that. First giveaway of the night is going to be a fun one. We're going to bring back the dice roll, and there's going to be options to win. So multiple things you'll have a chance of getting. Of course, going to be some gold that you could win, and that'll be if we roll a six. If we roll a five, you can win the Kennedy half. That's 90% silver. A four is going to be the quarter. A three will be the Mercury dime. A two will be a Roosevelt dime. And a one will be the War Nickel. So, who wants to win some free silver or possibly some free gold? Are you all excited for that? 66 people in the house. Oh, 72 actually. Everyone make sure to smash that thumbs up. Smash the thumbs up while we get started here and give away some free stuff. Yeah. Early bird giveaway, absolutely. I think I'm going to start them all off with the giveaway. Why not? Give away something for free at the very start. It'll be fun. Uh, but check this out here. So this has been my lighting setup for the past, like, two years, all right? We've had pretty poor lighting, and as a result, everything gets a little bit blurry because the camera can't pick it up. So check this out. We got a new lighting reveal oh yeah that's what's up i don't know how well this is gonna work but we got some more lighting smash the thumbs up for the new lighting <laughs> it's kind of shiny but whatever i think it'll be better in the long run so we'll give it a try tonight and let's get to the giveaway but first a couple shout outs if you don't know guido stacking stacking stormtrooper and ecp also do auctions Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I do my auctions on Friday. Shout out to all the captains. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Also, welcome David, new Dragon Legion recruit. So shout out to the captains. We've got two rows of captains now. So thank you all so much. And a big shout out to the generals, the top supporters. Kyle, if you're in here tonight, uh, make sure you email me so I can get you your Dragon Legion general sticker and all that good stuff. So let's get to the giveaway, shall we? All right. Many of you know how the giveaways work. <laughs> Light up the world. <laughs> if you don't know how the giveaways work, let me explain. I'm going to go ahead and write a number on the back of this sticker here. And then I'm going to put two numbers into the chat and I'm going to say go. Once I say go, then you have unlimited guesses. So you guess as many times as you like. Guess in between those two numbers. First person to guess the correct number on the back will be the winner. All right. Isn't Guido that? Yeah, Guido. Guido's sort of a special dude, but he's a, a very awesome member of the community, so we like Guido. <laughs> All right, let me get a number written here, mostly off camera. Number written. Good luck, everyone. Uh, in order to enter the giveaway, all you have to have is a U.S. mailing address. Anyone can enter the giveaway. So here we go. Let's do this right out the gate. Who's going to win? And I'll show my screen and show who the first person to guess on my screen is. That's how we will proclaim the winner. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Steve was right at the start there. And looks like we do have a winner. Awesome. So you can stop guessing. The magic number was good old 13. All right. Who guessed 13 first? Let's take a look at my screen here. So here's the go. Steve Woods with the special ed comment. Pro Slice, thank you so much. Please wait for the queue. Yeah, a lot of people were jumping the gun. But if you guessed early, it doesn't count. Looks like it's going to be Coho Val taking home the first giveaway of the night. Congratulations, Coho Val. There will be many more giveaways, as you can see. So let's go ahead and roll the dice and see what you'll be taking home. Good luck, Coho Val. Hopefully uh, hopefully we get a six or a five. I think those are probably the better 
prizes. Let's see here. Ooh, we got a five. She's taking home the Kennedy. Oh, yeah. Taking home the Kennedy right out the gate. Oh, my gosh. That is insane. <laughs> uh, so awesome. Yep, absolutely. Let me write you down here, Coho Val. With the Kennedy half. Um, yeah, I'll just write giveaway. There you go. First giveaway of the night. Wham, bam, bam. Can't beat that. All right, all right, all right. Let's get this stuff out of here. And we'll get to some fun auctions. Looks like we just cracked 100 people in the house. Welcome, everyone. Uh, we'll move this stuff aside here so there's no, uh, no uh, you know, issues about what, with what we're auctioning. It's, it'll be pretty obvious. There'll just be one item in the middle. <laughs> yeah, his and her coins. You said 13 before. That's why I show you my screen because everyone will see uh, on their screen that they guessed first. So that's the way that YouTube chat works. On your screen, you always get priority viewing. But on my screen, it's, you know, it's different. It's just it's just whatever they come in. So I'm in live chat on my screen, and that's how we proclaim the winners. So there you go. Um, all right. So let's get to the auctions. We're going to kick it off with a fun one. I know a lot of people were checking out the uh, cookies at the poor party by the way thanks everyone who came to the poor party it was super fun so we're gonna go ahead and do a one ounce cookie and I wonder if this light is even gonna work cuz maybe I maybe I need um, not LED light I don't know we'll, we'll try it out for the night and then we can maybe vote on it or something Cause look how shiny that is that's just impressive but I thought it would be good to view like this stuff here because we could get a lot of light but maybe it's almost better without the light. I don't know. Yeah, smash that like button. That's right, old silver. So this is a pretty cool piece here. Uh, it's a little one ouncer. One ounce. Three nines fine silver. Piece that I poured myself. Really nice toning on it. Yeah, it's a fun one. It's a fun one. We call these the cookies. So maybe just add a filter. Yeah, maybe. We got to figure out the lighting issue. That's the main issue, I think. To make the auctions so much better. <laughs> but anyway, there we go. I think it's a really cool piece. These are super fun. There was actually some a lot of people fighting over the cookie at the uh, last poor party. So why not do a cookie for the auction? We can just start it off at spot. And I think there is going to be a little... Oh, Old Silver with the 35. Okay. We can start it off there. I think there's a little bit of a delay between where I'm seeing the chat and when you guys are seeing. So we'll just, you know, we'll just call it like it goes. And uh, I think it'll be okay. I think everything will will basically work out. So it shouldn't, shouldn't be too much of an issue. Let's see. A white sheet could cool down the light. Budget... FPV with the uh, <laughs> great idea there. It, actually, this light does have a way to just turn down the brightness. Maybe if I just turn down the brightness a hair. That's a little better, huh? Maybe we'll go with that. We'll just make it so it's not so shiny. Uh, Goonie Stackers did get the cookie, yes. Love my Goonie cookie. So we got old silver with a bid of 35. Uh, a bit of 36 would be next to get this awesome tone cookie here, if you would like to bid. And I will say too that the poor party was really fun to get back to the poor parties because I have not done one in quite a long time. CP bike received my awesome Viking and coffin from last week's poor party. Very nice. Thank you so much, CP bike. I appreciate that, my friend. Nancy uses a black background. Yeah, that's a pretty good idea, too. Uh, Dan B. with the bid of 37. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dan B. <clears throat> Black Velvet would be nice, yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Scott with the bid of 40. Thank you so much, Scott. Appreciate that, my friend. And then there are some people just throwing some random random numbers in here. Stacking silver things. Uh, watching it go to hell is throwing in a bit of 78 there. 
Uh, in order to bid, you do have to be a channel member. So if you'd like to bid on the auctions, you do need to register. Um, and so if you want to register, you can click the first link down below in the description, hit join, uh, become at least the lowest tier channel member, and then you can go ahead and bid if you like. Um, and your name will pop up in green. You'll get the little dragon symbol next to your name and all that good stuff. So you do have to register to bid. So got all my cool poor party silver says silver Shane. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let's count it down to Scott here. And I wonder how the lag is going to be because normally it's pretty quick, but I think it's actually catching up. It's catching up. I think it's just a little bit of lag maybe between when you see it and when I see it, but it'll be all right. I wonder if I'm just not even live, maybe. Let's see if I'm just live. Let's try that. That might work. Well, okay, yeah, we got Scott at 40. Let's bring it down to a two. How about the green name says Forest? Absolutely right. <laughs> Power of the green name. <laughs> Got my channel around other day. Awesome piece. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate that. Forrest is saying lag is bad. Yeah, a little bit of lag, but it's not the end of the world. Let's bring it down to a one. We still got Scott at 40 on this one. Refresh between the bids. Yeah, when I put in the numbers, it's coming up pretty quick. It's not super bad. I got it on ultra low latency, so... I don't know. I th if anything, it's YouTube. That's the issue. Nate coming in with a bit of 41. Awesome. Keeping an eye on Guido and Husky right now. Husky's going to try his hand at his first pour. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Nate, you're in. Oh, good luck, Husky. It's, uh, it's fun when you get started. I remember my first pour. 17 seconds to show on your chat. Yeah, a little bit of delay to come up on the chat. That's That's normal, though. Uh, let's see. Okay, yep, no problem, Michael. That's just how we weed out all the fakers. Um, you know, the registering is a, is a process that the bidders really appreciate because they know they're actually bidding against someone who's legit, not just someone who's bidding them up with no intention of paying. So that's why we have the registration process. We've had that for many months. Uh, Pro Slice is 10 seconds ahead of me. Nice. Jim with the bid of 48. All right, Jim coming out to bid on this nice cookie here nice Aztec cookie piece it's actually the smallest of the bunch coming in at one ounce but it's got really nice toning on it Coho Val got poured pieces today Viking was super awesome oh yeah yeah that was some crazy ripples on that one Coho Val yeah that was a good Viking for sure those Vikings are super fun show it the face up way here nice toning as well so let's count it down to Jim here. See who's going to be the first winner of the night. Of course, you do get the Silver Dragons auction winner sticker as well. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why you're so far ahead of me, Pro Slice. Maybe because you're pro. But hey, that works. Uh, to register to bid, you do need to become a channel member. Uh, first link in the description. Or you can hit the Super Chat button on the bottom right of the screen. And you can register that way as well. Just hit join. What up? Uh, look out for the third rail. How you doing? Thank you so much, Forrest. I appreciate that, my friend. Bring it all the way down to a one here. Uh, little Zeke 78. Right on. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, free to enter all the giveaways. You don't need to join to enter any of the giveaways. Give away lots of free silver. Do give away a little bit of gold here as well. So if you just want to hang out, then you'll get that uh, for free. Uh, let's see. We are all ahead of you, says Finn Sen. <laughs> oh, no. I'm so far behind. <laughs> I think it might actually be Streamlabs that's really far behind. But I don't know how to make it go faster. So it is what it is. We'll count it down to Scott here. I mean, I think if you just don't even look at the screen on the on the <laughs> the the chat on the screen, if you just look at the live chat, it'll be okay. The chat on the screen isn't what I go by. I just go by the live chat. I have it up here on my computer. So, hey, what up, Ben? How you doing, my friend? 
Let's bring it down to a two. Scott still not want to give up this awesome Aztec cookie. What does it mean when you say you're bringing it down to a one? That means last and final call. Bring it down to a one. All right. Are you auctioning any bullion or just pours tonight, says Michael. No, we do have some bullion for sure. We got coins. We got some junk. Uh, we got some Mexican silver, some cool rounds. Um, we got some U.S. stuff. We got some copper, maybe a little gold. We got lots of stuff tonight, so it'll be a fun night. All right, last call on this piece, and we're going to say it's officially sold. Congratulations, Scott. You got it. All right. Yeah, I'm just curious, like, when I say sold and put it in, is there a 10-second delay between when I say it and when you see it come up on the screen? Or what's uh, what's the sort of delay with that, maybe? Yeah, Libertads. SSG likes those Libertads. <laughs> We got Scott K. Awesome, my friend. Uh, can you become a channel member on mobile? Absolutely. Certainly can. Uh, just hit the super chat button on the bottom right corner. And then um, hit the join button. And that's how you can become a channel member on the mobile. So let's bring out, uh, let's bring out something pretty cool here. We'll do the oldest silver of the night. Why not? Go ahead and do a 1906 Barber half dollar. See if we can get this bad boy to focus, yeah? 1906. This is a G4. See if we can get it on there. Come on, baby. Don't say maybe. Yeah, about 10 seconds. 20 seconds for Brent. Yeah, try refreshing. That might help with the delay. Need seven more to fill a two. Very nice. What up, Sky Pup? Welcome, my friend. Yes, it is a barber. Seeing if we could get it to focus. There it goes. So it's a 1906. See that at the bottom there? I've uh, graded it G4 because you can make out the date and you can't really make out much else on this one. It's just a Philly, no mint mark. So Philadelphia, it's pretty old. I mean, it's 114 years old, so. <laughs> it's an old one, but a good one. Ben's going to come in at 10 on that one. Sounds good, Ben. Done any more metal detecting lately? No, I have not stacking skier, but I want to get back out there. Just got in and hear Silver Dragon singing. Oh, thank you, Silver Wolf. Appreciate that. What up, Donnie? How you doing? P. Benzo at 12. And Ben is at 13. What do you think about buying proof ASEs from eBay? Oh, gosh. It depends on the price. I mean, where else are you going to get them from if you don't get them there? Do they have them at your local coin shop? If they do, I bet they're a lot cheaper. I would try that out first, K. P. Benzo at 17. Awesome. Ben is coming in at 18. Very nice. And uh, Matthew with the bid of 20. What does sniping do in bidding? So low IQ silver, if you snipe, which means I hit sold, but you get a bid in right before the sold, then it goes to a battle just between the two people. So the last person to bid and the person that sniped, and they will battle it out. And whoever bids the highest will be the winner. Dan with the bid of 22. It does make people laugh. <laughs> yeah, last second steal. Silver Crazed Mama, welcome, my friend. Thank you so much for joining. So there's some LCS. They're a bit. Oh, you spied them at the LCS. Yeah, if they're more expensive at the LCS, then maybe go with eBay. Just buy whatever's cheaper. Matthew coming in at 24. Ben with a bit of 25. <clears throat> 1906 Earthquake. Oh, yeah. But uh, nice little uh, barber half. It's the oldest coin we'll be auctioning off tonight. And, of course, you get the Silver Dragons auction winner sticker as well. So we can count it down to Ben. I wonder if it'll just catch up on its own. We will see. 
It's hard to tell. Bring it down to a two. 106 people in the house. Everyone make sure to smash that thumbs up. We'll do a couple more auctions here and then we'll do another giveaway. Just trying to have a chill night. I'm uh, super tired after the poor party. I spent an incredible amount of time finishing all those pieces. It was like 50 pours and uh, it just it just destroyed me. <laughs> Matthew coming in with a bit of 26. Awesome. Uh, Weber Natural Sleep Support Melatonin. You'd bid as a joke. Well, yeah, even if you put in a, a bet, or a, not a bet, a bid, Weber, uh, it wouldn't count because you do have to be a channel member. So, like, stack and silver things, we can't count any of those. I got Matthew Kinney at 26. So we can count it down to Matthew here. Uh, you bid yourself up, Matthew, so you're good. You're still at you're still at 26. Can't find the registration page info. Link just sends me to videos, says William. One thing you could... Oh, William, if you're on a, a computer, you can just go to my, um, my YouTube and then just hit the join just from the front page there of my YouTube. You could do that on a computer. Yeah, non-green name bids don't count. That's right. <laughs> All right, down to a one. We got Matthew Kinney at 26. Matthew Kinney at 26. Last call on the barber half. I'll give it, uh, I'll try and give it about 10 seconds because I'm not exactly sure how long the delay is. But, oh, uh, yeah, you're going to go in a timeout, stacking silver things. <laughs> That's funny. All right, I see the one pop up on the screen, so I'll say sold. Got all my pores today. Wifey is like, you're addicted. Please slow down, says Finsen. <laughs> yep, I'm addicted too, man. That's hilarious. Um, So let's see, we got Matthew Kinney at 26. Congratulations, my friend. You got it. And Roaming Rob, welcome. Welcome. Newest Dragon Legion recruit. So let's get back to the poured Silva. We got lots of uh, fun stuff tonight. Uh, we do have some poured copper as well. Uh, let's go ahead and do a poured copper piece for fun. Okay, stacking silver things. Have a great life. <laughs> it's okay bye channel we do have a giveaway coming up but that's all right no problem so 2.7 ounce copper star this one's been antiqued so pretty cool piece here poured of course by myself i don't do a lot of copper so the copper stuff is actually pretty rare when it comes to silver dragon stuff on my cell gonna try register for next time sounds good william Roaming Rob was able to do it there. Uh, let me show you the back here. 2.70Z. This is AVDP ounces and copper. That's the CU. Really cool lines on this. Isn't that pretty sweet? Copper gets that interesting lines. It's not like silver when you pour it. Copper is totally different. So Dan B is in at 7. Awesome. Great start there. On the star, copper star, Brent's in at 10. Yeah, the copper pieces, you know, they just take forever to finish. Maybe I'm not as good at um, at pouring copper just because I haven't practiced enough. You know, I'm probably a lot better at silver, I guess. Dan is in at 12. Yeah, it is pretty cool lines, huh? Absolutely. Giving me green Power Ranger power coin vibes. <laughs> nice, Goonie. Yes, yes, welcome, Rob. Appreciate you, my friend. Silver Crazed Mama in at 15 on that. Just beating out Coho Val slightly. Right on, right on. Coho Val comes back with a bit of 16. Very nice. Uh, yeah, William, use the dollar sign at the bottom. That's right. Thank you, Silver Britches. I appreciate that. Appreciate all my mods hanging out, taking care of stuff. Hmm. No join option on yours, says little Zeke 78 That's interesting. I think YouTube has been having a little bit of glitches recently. You know, sometimes YouTube gets a little overwhelmed with stuff. So I wouldn't be that surprised if it's not showing up. 
Have you ever tried pouring gold pieces? Never done gold yet, Silver Wolf, but at some point we will, absolutely. Silver Crazed Mama in at 20. Maybe it's Copper Crazed Mama tonight. <laughs> Michael, thank you so much, my friend. Uh, look out for the third rail. You do have to register to bid. Feel free to do so if you like. It's the first link in the description. And we can count it down to Silver Crazed Mama. Uh, if you just go in the description, you can click the first link to join if you like. If you're on a mobile device, so I'll just show you. If you're on a mobile device, what you got to do is hit the X over here on the right. Okay? And then hit this little down arrow right there. And it'll pop up the description. Then you hit the first link at the very top. And that is how you register to join. Click here to get a Dragon Legion membership. Join. <laughs> so that's how you do it. And then you come back and you're good to go. All right. Let's see here. Where are we at? We're at 22 for Coho Val. So let's count it down. Yeah, Heather. I would say just go in the description if you can't figure it out. They must have taken it away because on mine it just says Super Sticker Super Chat. So that's interesting. I wonder why they took away the join from the Super Chat on the bottom right. I wonder if that's just on my screen or... I mean, like, how many other channels it's actually affecting. What up, Cobra Stacker? How you doing, my friend? No Cobras tonight, unfortunately. Little Zeke figured it out. Welcome, Little Zeke. Snow Crust Racer coming in with a bit of 25 on that one. We'll have to restart the countdown here. For the... Showing some love for the copper. Coppers are pretty rare. Pretty rare. Don't do a lot of copper. There will be a copper trump bust coming up later. And uh, little Zeke, just curious if you're in any relation to uh, silver pouring Zeke. Maybe you can let us know. Coho Val not wanting to give that one away. Uh, treat him finance. Usually people pay before the end of the night, just when the stream ends. And then, um, and then I get them all shipped out the next day. So usually I try and get them all packaged up right after the stream. Print out all the labels, get them all ready to rock and roll. Coho Val, bit of 28. Yankee's yet to show himself. Must have already went to bed. <laughs> Probably did. Or may maybe Yankee's upset that I missed the uh, Yankee box giveaway. I had a lot of stuff going on. We had our new dog. And so... I'm kind of bummed that I missed it. It was probably a really fun stream, the Yankee Box. How many people were at the Yankee Box giveaway? I got Snow Crust Racer at 30. Yes, yes. PayPal is the only preferred way to pay. Oh, it's the only way to pay. <laughs> so, Snow Crust Racer in at 30. Dan, you're just out. I joined from the description. YouTube deleted 15 channels you follow. Censorship. That's crazy. <laughs> Yankee does sleep at some point. Um, Snow Crest Racer, bit of 32. Little Zeke, 78. I was just asking if you're uh, any relation to Silver Pouring Zeke. Um, I don't know that you would be, but just that you both have the name Zeke. So, negative. Okay. <laughs> Can't believe Silver Kid won it. Yeah, I know, right? That's insane. You and Yankee beefing? No, we're doing great. We actually have a... Um, a show that we do together and we're just getting ready for season three me and Yankee been good friends for years uh, so we're counting down to snow crust racer with a bit of 32 on the copper star we were at the giveaway nice oh gosh Steve <laughs> oh did snow crust racer outbid themselves yeah snow crust racer is still at third oh coho Val comes in with 32 all right you're actually out now snow crust racer because you did outbid yourself. Because <laughs> you had bid 30 before you were the high bidder. So we have Coho Val. If there's a matching bid Snow Crest Racer, then you actually don't need to um, bid up as long as you were first. If two people bid the same number, whoever was first is good. So I know this might be a little weird with the delay, but I got Coho Val at 32, even though I see she did put in a 33. 
she's still at 32. But we can count it down to her. See if we get any more bids on the copper. It's, in fact, the only copper um, star going up tonight. Only copper star. The only Then we do have a few other copper pieces, but... Coho is serious. <laughs> what up, Fiat Destroyer? How you doing, my friend? Got lots of fun stuff. In fact, we're going to do one more um, auction, and then we'll do a giveaway right after this, all right? So we got, uh, let's see, we're down to a two. I got Coho Val at 32 right now. <clears throat> and let's see here. Let's bring it down to a one. So basically what I'll do is I'll just wait till I see the one pop up on the chat on my screen and then I'll hit sold. So it is a copper star. We'll show it off. Last call on the copper star. If you want to bid on it, 2.7 ounce of copper poured by Silver Dragons. Really cool copper lines on there. Copper gets crazy. Snowcrest Racer popping in with 34. All right. Fat Destroyer, you should see the back. Yeah, yeah. It's a cool piece. Copper just does that weird stuff. It's not like silver at all. Copper is not like silver. It's so much different to pour. Dan with 35. All right, we got Dan in the lead. Every time I show the reverse, we get a few more bids. So maybe I'll just keep it on the reverse. Bid this one all the way up. <laughs> it's the only one available tonight. Looks like Coho Val is out. Noise. And looks like, okay, Snowcrest Racer's out. So we'll count it down to Dan B. I'll do kind of a quick countdown here. I'll do a three, two, one. And then when I see the one pop up in the chat, I will go ahead and I'll hit sold. So as soon as I see it, my one pop up on the screen, I'm going to hit sold. So if you want to bid, you got to be pretty quick. Firewolf Studios, thank you so much for the two spot, my friend. And Tim Williams, I'm pretty sure that's not a bid because we don't really count those as bids unless it's like the next number so Tim Williams <laughs> appreciate the 47 but I'm not gonna count it as a bid so I'll give you a second here if you actually did want a bid before we hit the sold pro slice about your favorite day is Wednesday hump day <laughs> sometimes the views better from behind says Fiat destroyer oh yeah <laughs> it's the ripples and whatnot all right I think it's been enough time we're gonna sell it to Dan Congratulations, Dan. You got up for 35. Sold. That was quite the battle on that one. Not a bid, says Tim. I didn't think so. I appreciate you throwing the 47 in there, though. All right. One more auction before the next giveaway. Ding, ding, ding. A giveaway coming up. So... Let's bring out this cool piece. This is a pretty fun little silver round here. Boston Tea Party. 1773. One Troy ounce, three nines fine silver. They're throwing the boxes of tea off the ship there. They are saying no to that tax. We do not want to raise the taxes. And I'll show you the other side here. It's got the cool don't tread on me right here. Don't tread on me. So it's got the snake and the Boston Tea Party. Lots of cool stuff. And I know there's some people that are from Massachusetts that show up to the parties but or the auctions. And then it says independent living at the bottom. It is a cool one, huh? It's a cool silver round. Old Silver's in at 35 on the Boston Tea Party. I'm going to call it the Boston Tea Party. Because they're throwing the tea off the ship there. <laughs> they're saying, no. We do not want that tax. <laughs> Get that tax out of here. SSG Silver is trying to buy it now on those. Those are a must-have if you're a stacker, says Fiat. Absolutely. And we got Old Silver at 35. Yes, that was uh, Indian costume appropriation. 
Dan B at 37 on the Boston Tea Party. By the way, just curious if anyone knows what the name of the ship was, or was there multiple ships? I don't know, because it was a party. How many ships were they throwing the tea off? Is this information available? Is it in the history books? I don't know, but if someone knows, they're probably in the chat. I'm sure there's a lot of history buffs here tonight. Was there one ship, multiple ships, and do we know the names of the ships? Just curious. Who's the smartest in the room? Get out of here with that Titanic. Nate coming in with the 40. Awesome. We got Nate with the 40. Let's count it down to Nate. No taxation without representation. Absolutely. Beaver. I doubt that was the name of the ship. <laughs> uh, Barth Mouth? Darth Mouth. Sounds like one of those. Something Mouth. Hey, what up, Darth Stacker? How you doing, my friend? And 28 days later, thank you so much for the five spot. Ron Paul 2012. Hey, man, hope you're doing good. <laughs> Thanks so much, my friend. Let's bring it down to a two. Uh, Anthony, uh, you do have to be registered to bid. I do appreciate the bid of 42, but if you would like to bid, um, you do have to register. Your name will come up in green when you actually register to bid. And little Zeke with the 43, awesome. So if you want to hit the join button, first link in the description, um, that is the way to register. And what up? Spladam, how you doing? Coin Surge sub, thank you so much, my friend. Three ships, says Old Silver. Okay, there was three ships there. I doubt Queen's and Queen Anne's Revenge was one, Tim Williams. <laughs> Numismatic collector, awesome. Um Little Zeke is saying 41, I guess. <laughs> we got you at 43, my friend. Uh, I think you bid 43. Yeah, we have you at 43. We'll count you down here. Yeah, hit join to register. That's the way to do it. Eleanor, Dartmouth, and Beaver. Oh, really? Beaver was the name of one of the ships? Wow. Okay. <laughs> I guess I, I owe you an apology. Um, who was the first person to say that? It was... Yeah, not the Titanic. Uh, Jorge was the first person to say it. I owe you an apology, Jorge. Sounds like you were right. Thank goodness for Google, yeah. Uh, what are you looking at right now? We're auctioning off the Boston Tea Party. Pretty cool silver round. It's going for a 43 right now to Little Zeke. And on the other side, it's got the uh, Don't Tread On Me. So beautiful silver round here. Pretty hard to find. Haven't seen a lot of these around. I'm not sure what mint actually makes them. Look out for the third rail has just joined. Thank you so much. Do you do shout outs? Just need five more. This is Numismatic Collector. Good luck, Numismatic Collector. You've been shouted out. <laughs> it is at 43. We'll bring it down to a one. Last call here. Shirt Stacks. What's up, my friend? Thanks for joining. About to do a giveaway right after this auction. As soon as the auction is over, we'll be doing a giveaway. Oh, you were tricked by a non-green bid? Okay, we can do 41 then. That's fine, little Zeke. I know you're pretty new to the auction, so no, I got no problem with that. All right, last call, and we're going to say it's sold. As soon as I see the one pop up in my chat, there's the one. So we'll go ahead and say sold. We'll do little Zeke for 41. I guess someone had the, the trick bid in there. <laughs> it didn't get deleted fast enough or something. That's fine. No worries. Congratulations, my friend. You also get the Silver Dragons auction winner sticker. Wham, bam, bam. Uh, Dan B, you just missed it. You just missed it on the snipe. I think snipe's going to be a little bit harder. Uh, to register to bid, you do have to hit the join button, become a channel member, and then your name will come up in green, and then you're registered and you're good to go. Uh, just like look out for the third rail did. Uh, it's the first link in the description. You got to go to the description of the live stream and click the very first link at the top. But it is time for a giveaway. 
So let's do some giveaway action here. The Kennedy is already gone, but we do still have War Nickel, uh, Roosevelt Dime, Mercury Dime, Silver Quarter, and the Gold Back will be given away for free to anyone in the chat. Uh, as long as they have a USA mailing address. So good luck, everyone. Yeah, no snipe. No sniper. So when we roll the dice after we pick a winner, it'll be 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. If we roll a 5, we'll just re-roll, okay? Move these over so we know. And if you don't know how the giveaways work, I'm going to go ahead and write down a number on the back of the sticker. Then I'll put two numbers in the chat and say go. First person to guess the correct number on my screen will be the winner so good luck everyone there is the sticker uh, the gold back this is one one thousandth of a troy ounce of gold it's 24 karat gold so there you go all right good luck let's get to this see who wins the second giveaway of the night I put little O's in my go, but it still works. You guys are fast. Look at that. I don't think there's much of a delay at all. I do see the winning number. Someone guessed it, so we'll go ahead and show it. It was 37. We'll see who guessed 37 first. Let me show my screen here. Screen share. My answer is beaver. <laughs> I love this. All right, let's see. Looking for a 37 to proclaim a winner. Quicksilver, you got it. Awesome. Quicksilver and Polystacking just registered. Thank you so much for joining the Dragon Legion Polystacking. We got to pick a prize here for Quicksilver. Quicksilver. Let's get back and roll the dice. So, good luck. You want a higher number. The higher number, the better. And we will see what you get. I got a four. That's going to be the quarter. That's a good one, Quicksilver. You'll be taking home the quarter. 90% silver, 1964. Congratulations. Quicksilver, you got to uh, email me with your address, my friend, so we can get that one shipped out to you for absolutely free. All right, still got more giveaways later on. Yeah, not fair, he's too quick. <laughs> so let's go ahead and bring out some more auction items. Um, I did make some new stuff. I made uh, some silver crosses. So let's go ahead and auction off the smaller one here. I have two of these. This is a 29 grams, so just under an ounce. Just under an ounce. It has to, get, has to be 31.1 grams to be an ounce. So a little cool little silver cross here. This is the first one I ever made. It is uh, three nines fine silver. And I did go ahead and do a little bit of an antique on this one. Yeah, silver crazed mama. That's why I always show my screen. Because YouTube will always give you uh, preferential viewing. So... YouTube will always say you're first, so the only impartial way is to just show one screen. So that's how we pick the winner. So 29 gram silver cross. First one I ever poured. Three nines fine silver. We'll go ahead and we'll auction that one off. And we could just start it at... Uh, we'll just start it at 25. Uh, I live in Canada. Do you deliver to Canada? For the auctions, I do, yeah. For the auctions, um, there is international shipping. All the shipping info is down below in the description if you want to check that out for yourself. Uh, we got uh, Crystal in at 32. I do have one more cross, which we'll auction off uh, later, which was the second one I ever poured. And that one is uh, an ounce. So this one here, just a hair under an ounce. But it is pretty cool because it's the first one I ever poured. And there's only two of them going up for auction tonight. Uh, so we got Silver Crazed Mama at 35. Awesome. Um, yes, awesome. Thank you so much, Jorge. Appreciate that, my friend. Yeah, shipping uh, internationally can get pretty crazy, but... I uh, did not put a P on it, Fiat. Uh, it's not a numbered series. Um, these are... I, I'm not going to actually like put these on my website. 
uh, because it's not like a custom mold. And so, because anyone can get a cross mold like this. And so there's no P on it, but it is the first one I did ever pour. I can put a P on the COA if you like. Let's do that. Let's put it on the COA. Why not? We can we can uh, say it's the first one on the COA. There you go. We'll add the P to it. Just so it's different from the rest of them. All right. Uh, Crystal Kim at 37 on that. Christmas shopping. Great gift ideas, says Coho Val. <laughs> awesome. And uh, Stan, to bid, my friend, you do need to be a channel member. Um, so if you would like, just go ahead and uh, click the join button. It's the first link in the description, and you can become a channel member there. Smash the like button. Absolutely, Jorge. Everyone smash that thumbs up. That's how we do it. All right. Let's go. Dan B's in at 40 on that one. Matthew Kenny saying, wow, Crystal Kim fires back with a 42. We got a little back to back here. Some of you may notice I did add a new um, emoji for tonight. It is the nuclear bomb explosion. <laughs> so if we get any crazy bids, if we get any massive bidding wars, we can throw some nuclear bombs in. <laughs> Hey, what up, Roger S? How you doing, my friend? Thanks so much for showing up. What up, Michael Decker? How you doing? Sorry I'm late. No problem, my friend. We're just auctioning off the first ever silver cross that I poured. Uh, we went ahead and put the P on the COA to designate it as the first one. It's 29 grams. Throwing some nuclear bombs in there. There we go. It almost looks like a firework, but yeah. Pretty cool. Chris Dill Kim is in at 52 on this little 29 gram cross. Super cool piece. Super cool. And Dan B with a bit of 54. Awesome. Yeah, it almost looks like a firework. It's just a lot of fire. It's cool though, you know. If you want an emoji, which is lots of fire, just like making a statement, I think it's a pretty good one. <laughs> Uh, anyone passed beer number five yet, says Finsen. <laughs> I'm not. I'm on beer number zero. <laughs> Thought it was a magic mushroom, says Jason. Crystal Kim, bit of 57. Uh, if anyone else lives in Oregon, they'll notice we had uh, the option to legalize mushrooms on our ballot this year. Isn't that crazy? Speaking of magic mushrooms. Dan B, up to 58 on this one. Who doesn't like fire? I agree. More sober than a rabbi, so it's low IQ. <laughs> That's great. Did anyone here get in on the gold Noah's Ark coins? They sold out like lightning. Um, no, I have bought the Noah's Ark silver ones in the past. I know they do a wide range of stuff, Fiat. Yeah, crazy organ. <clears throat> we can count it down to Dan here. Start counter down. I'm expecting FinCEN to bid a lot. <laughs> yeah, FinCEN. Maybe we should bring out the Trump pour next. And just see what happens. You want me to... Man, yeah, let's do it. Let's bring out the Trump next. Let's do a big one. And then I'll bring out a Libertad. That's the lineup for the next two auctions here. We'll do the Trump pour and then we'll do a Libertad. In a medical capacity for now, as far as I know. Yeah, budget. That They're just saying like two years of testing for um, in, in a medical capacity, correct. But still, it's, you know, I think we'd be the first state if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> All right, let's bring it down to a one last call here. We got uh, Dan B in at 58 on the uh, Silver Cross. As soon as I see it pop up in the chat, I'm going to say sold. I do see my two as soon as I see the one. Last call here. They did full ounce, half quarter, and one gram in gold. 
That's insane, dude. The Trump guy from Oregon says Michael Decker. <laughs> There's the one. All right, congratulations, Dan. You got it, my friend. Dan B, you have one great success. Dan B, got the first ever cross pour. All right, let's bring out the Trump. We only have one of the silver and one copper Trump tonight. So let's bring out the silver Trump, why not? And then we'll do a Libertad. That is the order of operations here on the auction. So this is a pretty big one here, 3.7 ounce. You did win it, Dan B. Congratulations. So 3.7 ounce here. There's the COA. This is poured by myself. Really nice piece. Really shiny too. I went ahead and just shined it up very nicely. You bet I drive a Subaru. You are incorrect. I am not that rich. <laughs> Subaru is expensive to work on, man. But I know you can get... I actually did drive a Subaru in high school. Um, it was like a cheap, busted-up one that I got for two grand. It only lasted me a month. It was a legacy. Terrible car. Worst I ever, bu worst I ever bought. Yeah, we went ahead and flattened the back here. Brenson at 100 on that one. 3.7. It's really nice and shiny. It's a beautiful piece. And it does stand up as well. So you can have it stand up like that. Or you can have it be flat. So there's the Trump pour. It's the only silver one going up tonight. Yankee drives a Subaru. <laughs> Low IQ silver coming in at 120 on the Trump. Very nice. Thank you so much, David. Appreciate that, my friend. 113 people in the house. Everyone make sure to smash that thumbs up. Dan B, 125. Austin, 130. Got the election right around the corner. I uh, went ahead and voted today. So my ballot has been cast. Fiat Destroyer has a Forester. Nice. Yeah, those do seem nice. Is it a newer one? The newer ones look really nice. But I kind of look the, like the look of the older ones better, Fiat. Dan B, coming in at 140. WRX, nice, P Benzo. Do you got the STI? <laughs> Do you race that one? Is it the five speed? What do you got, bro? <laughs> Senwig in at 145. Yeah, they are good at driving the snow. And we do get a lot of snow here up on the mountain, so. In fact, it's supposed to get down to the twenties here where I live. Um this week, so or maybe next week, I'm not sure. Alright, low IQ coming in at one fifty. Kyle, hey, what's up, Kyle? Hey, even if you don't win something tonight, Kyle, make sure you email me so I can get you a <clears throat> uh, Nissan Rogue. Nice. <laughs> nice. Six-speed WRX. Oh, it's the six-speed. Okay. Yeah, I forgot they threw in that extra gear. I mean, for when you really need to go that fast. Or it's just nice to have more gears too, I guess. But not the STI version. So do you not have to pay that more expensive insurance on it? Because it's not the STI? Just curious. But anyway, we're on the Trump pour here. Snow Crust Racer coming in at 160 on this really shiny, gorgeous one. In fact, this is one of my um, best ones I've ever done. I think I'm getting a lot better at it. Like you can even see the detail in the cheek. Just a really nice shiny piece. 165 for Senwig. I definitely think this is one of the best ones I've ever done. And someone upgraded to a general. Who is that? Jorge upgraded to a general. Thank you so much, Jorge. We'll have to put you on the general list for next week. I usually update the list once a week. So on my website, it says you're a captain right now. <laughs> Senwig in at 165. Thank you so much, Fiat Destroyer. I appreciate it, my friend. Uh, the weight is 3.7 troy ounces. Three nines fine silver poured by yours truly, Silver Dragons. Yes, yes. So let's count it down to Senwig. Let's do it. 
We're going to start with the three. Those Trump pours be quite valuable as history unfolds. A very collectible piece, says Coho Val. Absolutely. <clears throat> and we'll do a Libertad after this. I actually have two Libertads we can do, but we'll do the older one here. Let's bring it down to a two. Insurance for me is 140 through Geico. My goodness, 140? Oh, wow. I think I pay like 37 for my little beater. <laughs> hey, Ozzy, thank you so much, my friend. Appreciate you smashing that thumbs up. Down to a two. Let's bring it all the way down to a one. Last call. It's the cornerstone of my retirement plan, <laughs> says Sendwick. Brian popping in with 170. Awesome, Brian. Brian getting in the mix. Wants to get a little piece of this one. You pay 190 for an 08 Civic. Dude, Senway coming back at the 175. Not willing to let it go. Well, low IQ silver. I mean, I don't know how they how they do it all. But, like... Like, I'm married, you know, my wife and I are on the same insurance. We have our homeowner's insurance attached. You know, I've got no records and no tickets within, like, a, seven years or whatever. So, lag is about 30 seconds now. Go ahead and hit the, um, hit the refresh button if the lag keeps getting worse. You just need to refresh it. It says I'm uh, lightning fast on my end, but I do know that there is some lag. Snow Crust Racer 180. Uh, even though we are in ultra low latency, I, it's just YouTube. YouTube is just throwing a little bit of uh, a little bit of lag in tonight. Snow Crust Racer bit of 180. We can count it down to Snow Crust Racer. You pay 170 for two cars. Yeah. That's much more reasonable. Senwig, bit of 190. Wow. I'm definitely seeing some nuclear bombs in the chat. We're up to 190 on this beautiful Trump pour. Military men are easy targets. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks to have to pay that much for insurance. That's just crazy. I mean, yeah, we, we don't have nice cars either, so maybe that's a factor. <laughs> yeah, let's get some whales up in there. As we count it down, absolutely. I'll do another three here for Senwig. This is why insurance company buildings are the nicest and most priciest real estate buildings in Boston. I believe it. No lag in Australia, says Rodney. Awesome. Glenn Cox throwing the nuclear bomb in there. Yep, we got a new emoji for the night. SSG Silver's trying to buy it now. <laughs> Just randomly throwing it out there, hoping the lag will be like so bad that it magically pops up and we do one. <laughs> oh yeah. It is a battle. I like the whale with the uh, Gatling gun too. That's awesome. All right. So I'll bring it down to a one and I'll wait till I see a one on, uh, on the chat on my screen. And then I'll go ahead and say sold. So I guess two is almost like last call for some people. Yeah. The ultra whale. Premiums doesn't matter. Uh, let's see, no accidents goes up, credit score goes up, so does insurance. Weird. Well, we got pretty good credit too, so I don't know. Uh, another close up. All right, yep, last close up before we say sold. We'll just give it a few moments here because this is a really beautiful piece. I think it's the biggest silver pour of the night. 3.7, it's a heavy one. We're in at 190 right now. Senwig is in at 190 on the Trump. Last call for this one. Last call. Stands up both ways. We'll do a little extended last call. See if anyone wants to jump in. Jay Sober saying sold. We'll see. Saw your video metal detecting Cannon Beach. Yeah, Michael Decker. Wasn't that a cool video? Yeah, that was fun. I, I haven't metal detected since then, but I have a good idea for another one. So let's do sold. Congratulations. You got it. Senwig. You beat out the competition and you won. Let's let's get you written down here, my friend. Senwig. All right.
Send Wade Nygaard, 190 on the Trump. There you go. Congrats. It's a beautiful piece. So we'll do a Libertad next. Break out the Libertads. Gotta love the Libertads. Uh, this is uh, turning into a, uh, a PG-rated section. <laughs> PG-rated auction now. <laughs> hey, what up, Backwood Stacker? What up, Silver Damsel? How you doing? Um, so we're getting a little bit PG in here with this smoking Libertad 1985. Nice luster here. Libid up. <laughs> yeah. So just, you know, just a little PG on the night. No big deal. Um, this one is from the mint uh, roll that I cracked open on a video. So it's from a mint roll. So we got nice luster. It does have the edge lettering as Libertads do. So all the way around the edge, you'll see there's lettering, which is very cool. And then also it has a nice eagle on it. Really nice eagle. I mean, this is a gorgeous coin here. Just smoking, absolutely on fire. So really cool, really good condition. I mean, I'm not going to grade this, but I would say it would be very high. Very high grade. SSG Silver in at 50 on this smoking PG Libertad. We got SSG Silver in at 50 on this one. Really, really nice coin. Just gorgeous. I love these. I'll go ahead and set it on this guy here. Take really good care of that one. <laughs> We don't want to disrupt the quality. Those coins are sexy, says Patrick. SSG Silver at 60. Senwig at 65 on that smoker. One of my favorite coins is Jeremy Myers. Yes, they are quite gorgeous. Quite gorgeous. So this is the 1985 version. 1985. Senwig up to 75. Jimena's <laughs> throwing that surprise face in out there. And Jeremy Myers, I appreciate the bid, my friend, but you do have to register to bid. If you would like to uh, register, you got to click the join button. It's the first link in the description down below. And then your name will come up in green, and you'll get a little dragon next to your name, and then you'll be able to bid there. So we got Senwig at 75. David, man, it goes deep so quick. Yeah, these ones are smoking. SSG Silver's out. So pretty. MS70 NGC uses the star for eye appeal. <laughs> yeah, it probably... Uh, I, I could see it get <laughs> star. Why are there no 2020 Libertads? Um, you mean the 20, they're, they're out. They're just not out yet. You can get them in Mexico. They're really hard to get. They always come out super late anyway. I feel like every year, like all the other mints are coming out in 2021 and Mexico is finally doing the, uh, 2020s. So Jeremy Myers has registered. Awesome. Jeremy, you are now able to bid my friend. Welcome to the dragon legion. If you'd like to bid, go right ahead on this smoking piece. She is a smoker. Definitely a smoker. That's why everyone wants to know. Didn't realize I wasn't joined. No problem, Jeremy. Uh, the bid is at 75, but we'll go ahead and count it down. Let's count it down. He-Man. Oh, that's not nice, He-Man. We're probably going to have to go into a timeout for that one. We don't call names here. <laughs> <clears throat> but also, like, you know, this is, I would say, semi-numismatic piece. That's the thing. Like, I, I guess people don't really realize there's bullion and there's semi-numismatics and numismatics. <laughs> yeah, I had to go into a timeout. <laughs> Silver Wolf says, chain smoker. Need a glove, it's so hot. Muy caliente. Feel like I'm on the shopping network. <laughs> How do you get our shipping address? Uh, yeah, little Zeke, when you pay with PayPal, uh, whatever the address is, I'll just ship it there. Yep, that's how we do it. 
and I'm down to a one now so whenever I see the one on my screen I'll go ahead and I'll say sold uh, look out for the third rail we're at 75 the bid is at 75 uh, we got Senwig at 75 Jeremy coming in at 80 awesome and there is the entertainment factor that's true and you get the Silver Dragons auction winner stickers also Senwig fires right back with the 85 Ooh, we do have a little bit of a battle here for this smoker. Fuego. <laughs> Dragons touched it. Triples the value, says Roger S. <laughs> Thanks so much, my friend. I appreciate that. Kyle says, why? Because we set the spot price here on the Silver Dragons channel. <laughs> This is where the spot price is set. <laughs> yeah, battle. All right, let's bring it down to a two. <sighs> Want to see the message from He-Man. He called people dummies, and that's not very nice, real. Wish you can see my safe. It has three silver dragon stickers on it. That's awesome, Silver Wolf. That's awesome. I'll have to do some magnets at some point. I've done magnets here and there, but not a lot. All right, I'm bringing it down to a one. Uh, as soon as I see the one on my uh, screen, I'm going to hit sold. So two is almost like the last call because when I see the one, I hit sold. Cal's got a 30-second delay. I know there's a bit of a delay. It's sort of a YouTube thing going on right now. We make the moonshots happen, says Piat Destroyer. <laughs> Thank you, Crazy Nancy. Appreciate that. All right. As soon as I see the one, there's the one. And we're going to say sold. So congratulations to Finn Sen. Or no, not Finn Sen. Senwig. Sometimes I get you guys confused. My, my apologies, Finn Sen. But congratulations to Senwig. I think that's two wins in a row now. Cleaning house tonight. Senwig has done it again. Lightning does strike twice. Roger S. has a silver dragon's magnet. Nice. Yeah, car magnets. Yeah, how about a full uh, uh, wrap? Here, I'll put my glove on. But how about a full um, car wrap? We'll just sell those. <laughs> I'll put, go ahead and put her back in this flip here so she stays nice and pretty for you, Senwig. Beautiful coin, my friend. All right. Let's go ahead and bring out another one of the Aztecs. We got some really cool Aztecs tonight. Um, this one here is going to be a... We'll just work our way up. Got a nice little uh, 1.2 ouncer here. This is uh, hand poured by Silver Dragons. Little cookie. Nice pour. It's got the skull on there. Just a nice little cookie here. Call it a cookie because it's not a full pour. But it is a cool little pirate treasure piece. Nice and shiny too. 1.2 ounce. 2020. Nice and shiny. So if you want to bid on a little bit of pirate treasure, uh, now is your chance. <clears throat> I would rock it, says <laughs> Split Dam. <laughs> nice. We want Silver Dragon's merch. Uh, Schmutz Happens hoodie would be nice. <laughs> Just a T with a dragon eye. Yeah, I got to redo my merch. South End Owls, welcome. Newest Dragon Legion recruit. Shirt stacks in a 45 on the cookie. Are you thinking about doing any Thanksgiving theme pours when the time comes? Um, probably not Silver Wolf. I might do a Christmas or I might do election or something like that. I'm not sure. CP bike in a 47. Let's see Senwig. I'm assuming I won. Yes, you won it, Senwig. Uh, you won the Libertad. Congratulations. Car wrap coming soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That would be insane, insane, huh? T wins, 517. Welcome, newest Dragon Legion recruit. Michael Decker in at 48 on the cookie. Very nice. 
lagging way too much have fun okay kyle have a great night my friend sometimes youtube doesn't get it right which is unfortunate but yes welcome to the new members let's count it down to michael decker that's gonna be a three here make a dice with trump and biden on it <laughs> did you see there's the um uh oh, what mint made them there was a mint that they just came out with them. One half is Trump and the other half is Biden. It's a coin. They're like 60 bucks for a one ounce silver coin. But I'm trying to remember what mint it was. I got Roger at 50 and Jim at 51. Election night with silver dragons. Yeah, that'd be crazy, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, I forget what the mint was, but they had them on... Um, uh, what was the website? Um... Wow, MCM? Is that what it was? One of the websites had them for sale. We got Roger in at 55. A little bit of a battle here. Oh, wow. We got a battle between Roger, Jim, and Michael Decker. This could get interesting for the cookie. As long as we, if we get Dad of Three in here, then it could get crazy. <laughs> Dad of Three was really wanting to snag a cookie. I think he was, he was saying like, 80 bucks or something for one it was similar this to the size at the poor party you guys remember that he's like double price i want the cookie <laughs> it was insane but goonie stackers ended up getting that one so that's what we did more 1.2 ounce here michael decker and at 57 this will be interesting we will see we will see how cool will be is do a silver dragon's claw series yeah, Silver Wolf, that'd be awesome. I do have a Dragon Tooth that I'm going to try to do a little bit more work on the mold. Popcorn time. <laughs> yeah, Modern Coin Mart. Thank you, Roger. MCM, that's right. Designer brand. Yep, free shipping on every item, even if it's a, the cheapest one. Anytime Decker in the house, we can get real. Jim Mean at 58. Data 3, show yourself. Jeremy in at 60. Who is the cookie monster? We will see who will be the cookie monster tonight. Will it be Jeremy? Who knows? What up, Ren Stocks? How you doing, my friend? Cookie monster emoji. <laughs> Might be branded. We don't want to get into trademark issues again. We already did that with the silver bag and stuff. <laughs> is that your own custom mold? This one here is not, but the dragon tooth is that, that we tried to pour a long time ago. And it just ended up not looking right, so we sort of held back on it. Michael Decker, 62. Jim at 63. Thank you so much, Scott. Appreciate that, my friend. You won the first one of the night. We do have a few more of the cookies as we work our way up the sizes. We got lots of fun stuff tonight. I got lots of coins, and we got some more copper stuff. Um, we got to do another giveaway, too, actually. Nobody leave. We're doing a giveaway right after this. Jeremy's in at 64. Giveaway right after this auction. Jeremy's in at 64. Let's count it down. I'm doing good, Ren. I'm doing good. Just another auction night. I'm happy to have a chill auction night. The poor party last week was so much fun, but oh my gosh, it just broke my back. <laughs> it's, I don't know if people realize like how much work it actually is finishing all the pieces. You know, my hands were bleeding. <laughs> I actually bought these mats for my garage floor. Um, they're like really cushiony industrial ones, so my feet don't get as tired. So hopefully that'll help my endurance a little bit. We do have one Morgan coming up later, David. Yes, we got one Morgan a little bit later. Yeah, Jeremy at 64. Jim's out. Michael's out. Roger's out. Wants a fatter one. Okay, sounds good. We'll bring out another one here in a little bit, Roger. I actually got two more cookies and they're both fatter so as soon as I see the one on my screen I'm gonna hit sold as soon as I see the one <clears throat> silver husky's doing a pour party yeah I heard silver husky was doing like first pours ever or something awesome Michael Decker that was a fatty it was a fatty thank you old silver I try and ship as quick as possible there's the one so we're going to say it's sold. Congratulations to Jeremy. You got it, my friend. Jeremy 
Myers, congratulations. And it's time for a giveaway. Giveaway time. Jeremy Myers. Oh, I should have wrote it in with the Sharpie. I got another pen here. Oh, well. We can see it. There you go. <laughs> Good enough. I wonder if um, every time I bring out the Trump stuff, if YouTube starts lagging and making it like worse because of that. Do you guys think that, that, that that's a thing? I bet it is. Who knows? All right, let's get to the giveaway here. Free giveaway here. Jeremy's hungry for cookies. Awesome. <laughs> so we still got the gold back. That's if you roll a six. If you roll a three, you will get the Roosevelt. I'm sorry, a three will be the Mercury. Roosevelt will be the two, and a one will be the War Nickel. So we'll go ahead and roll for it. If you get a five or a four, we'll just re-roll. So no worries there. Silver Shane needs a win. I'm gonna write a number on the back of the sticker. You know all you all know how it works, probably. But if someone doesn't know how it works, I'm gonna put two numbers in the chat. Say go, you start guessing in between the two numbers. First person to guess the correct number on my screen is the winner. So it's pretty easy. You just wait till you read the numbers and then you start guessing. It's unlimited guesses. Just have to have a USA mailing address. So that's it. They are old school, says Goonie. <laughs> Let me just double check. Yeah, okay, we're good. Good luck, everyone. Yes, you could get the gold back. Who knows what it will be. And wow, the guesses come rolling in. And the correct answer was 52. So whoever guessed 52 first is the winner. Let's check it out. Right out the gate, Ammer and Audi. You got it, my friend. Incredibly fast. Have you won before? I think you might have even won before. Maybe not, but it's still pretty cool. Congrats on the win. And Audi. Let's go ahead and see what you actually won. We got to roll the dice here. Remember, five or four, we re roll. So let's see what it's going to be. It's a six. You got the gold back. Wow, we got all the big prices, out, big prizes out first. <laughs> That's cool, though. So we still got these smaller silver prizes, and then we do one giveaway at the very end. So there's always uh, another giveaway separate from these at the end, which is still open to anyone. So congra congratulations, Amur. Make sure you email me with your info, and we'll get that one one thousandth of an ounce of gold shipped out to you absolutely free 24k gold there nothing but the best on the silver dragons channel all right let's bring it back to the auction here yes i have one to give away i knew i knew you had won one before <laughs> uh someone mentioned the morgan dollars so let's go ahead and bring out a morgan dollar for an auction we got a nice looking See if we get it to focus here. 1921. It's actually pretty, pretty good condition. Um, I'm not saying it's good enough to go over good, but uh, it is pretty nice looking Morgan. It's not graded, so maybe if you grade it, um, if you're good at grading, maybe you could figure out the grade on it by what you see but it's philadelphia 1921 morgan dollar and uh, i think it's a pretty cool you know junk silver dollar and uh it's 99 years old so next year this will be 100 years old and they'll come out with the commemorative morgans uh which is pretty cool matthew's gonna be in at 18 on that Let's see if we can get this to focus here Focus, baby. There we go. We got the focus back. <clears throat> yep, it's a Philly. Uh, shirt's in at 36. 28 days later, in at 40 on that one. The 99-year-old Dala. Never won. There is an end of stream giveaway. Yep, we do one at the end. That is extremely fine, says Old Silver. 
I'm not super good at grading, so I'm not going to say if it is or not. But it is it is a really good looking one to me. <clears throat> David, uh, let's see. You're you're actually out. We got a bit of forty right now, David. Not bidding. I have some. Says old silver. Nice. So the bit of forty is twenty eight days later. So we can count it down to 28 days later. And uh, we'll bring another poured piece out after this. I got some I got some good poured stuff. We can do, uh, ooh, I, I think I know what we'll do. We got some good stuff. And a few more bids there. Very, uh, very nice. And we got a bit of 50 for 28 days later. Wow, really wanting to get it. Want some of the new commemorative Morgans so I can experiment on them. <laughs> Jim's out. Thank you for your help, Jim. Yeah, I want to get some of those new ones as well. I think the uh, the new Morgans are going to be cool. I want to get the Peace Dollars too. I want to try and get all of them, but I have a feeling some of them will be very expensive and it's going to be hard to get them all. 28 Days Later says, Throwing in the towel. <clears throat> David says, too high for me. Uh, someone tried to bid there. Uh, ja Tinder Sin. Uh, you do have to be a channel member to wait. Yeah, you're still in 28 days later. No one outbid you. Uh, it, it's not a... Um, it wasn't a uh, channel member. Yep, you're still good. You're still good. So as long... I guess, I guess we all know 28 days later is not going to bid any higher. So if you want to get it... <laughs> You let your secret out of the bag there, but let me bring it down to a one. And then as soon as I see the one on my screen, I'll go ahead and say sold. So I guess it's last call here. Matt saying, wow, that's right. We got some more poured silver coming up for auction right after this. And then we got some other really cool things. Um, we got some rare things, some interesting coins and rounds and whatnot. So lots of fun stuff to be auctioned off tonight. Godfather is in the house. What's up, Godfather? <clears throat> yeah, you do have to join the bid. Thank you so much, Roger, for putting the link in. I appreciate that. There's the one, so I'm going to go ahead and say sold. Congratulations, 28 days later. You got it. 28 days later. Congrats, my friend. Yeah, it's it's a cool coin to have. Gotta love the Morgan dollars. Really nice one there. All right. Yes, congratulations. Absolutely. <clears throat> I wonder how this is going to work with the lag. Zombie, zombie. Roger S. is going to get it. So I... I guess you just got to watch the chat because they'll probably see it on the chat way before you see it on the screen. Because it seems like the chat's just way faster. Maybe some people aren't lagging too bad. But who knows. Roger S. got the buy it now. Um, if you don't know how the buy it nows work, I just say B-I-N. First person to put it in the chat gets it. Awesome silver dragons. One ounce dragon head bar here. Congratulations, Roger S. was the fastest. Congratulations, my friend. Very impressive. FinCEN was just a hair behind. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's bring out the other Trump one here. This will be the last Trump-themed one. We got more Aztecs. We have another cross. We got some pyramids. We got a heart. We got a lot of cool stuff, but this is going to be the copper one. I've never... Um, yeah, the lag. You got to be watching the chat. So I've never made a copper open pour like this ever in my whole life. Uh, 3.5 ounce copper trump. So this one here took me several tries. A hairy behind. This one here took me several tries. It was way harder than I thought it was going to be. I'm just not very good at pouring copper. But I did get one. I know people have been asking for it. So this is my first actual piece that I successfully poured in an open pour it's just ridiculously hard to do for me with copper I'm way better with silver let me show you the reverse here 
So we got 3.5 OZCU, that's copper. Then we got my old dragon. And then there is a little bit of a... Sometimes the copper, I noticed, it bubbles. So it bubbled a little bit. So there's a little spot you can, I guess, put like a little silver shot pellet in there or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, so it does stand up like this. So you could stand it up like that. Or if you want to put it flat, it does rock a little bit from side to side. So we could say something like Brent's in at 46. So we could say something like um, at least the hair color is on point. That You got that right. Um, so we could say, hey, Trump, is the U.S. ever going to stop inflating the dollar? He'll shake his head no. So you can get him to shake his head no. <laughs> it's kind of a cool little piece there. All right. Thank you, Michael Decker. I, I appreciate that. So Brent's in at 46 on the first ever copper one. You don't know how much copper is worth, says low IQ silver. It's not... Honestly, copper is very cheap, especially compared to silver and gold and all these other things. It's an industrial metal, but, you know, these pieces do take a lot of time. So it's really just the artwork and all the effort put into it. I probably have at least half an hour into this piece, but. <laughs> yeah, the swivel head. <laughs> it's a cool one. I don't know if anyone wants to bid against Brent so we could we could count down Brent. Hmm, number one copper pays out nice back when I used to scrap. Yeah, the bobblehead. <laughs> it's it's a cool piece, though. Michael Decker is going to come in with 47. All right, so Michael Decker is up the bid to the magic 47. So you're out, Brent. On It's not only my first ever successful open pour copper piece. It's just my only Trump copper piece. It's the only one I've ever made, for sure. Who remembers bobbleheads? Oh, I do. I was just watching The Office uh, the other day with my wife, and um, Dwight had a bobblehead. So funny. Just a hilarious show. Snow Crust Racer in at 49. On the copper. Yeah, rent stocks. You do have to be a channel member to bid, my friend. Roger S. just put in the link. If you'd like to become a channel member, then you're actually able to bid. That's the registration process. So we can count it down to Snow Crust Racer here. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Snow Crust at 49. Yep. Got to see what I want to bring out after this. I got some cool stuff. Coho Valen at 50 on it. Michael Decker says, take it. Michael Decker is out. Thank you for your help, my friend. Snow Crust Racer. Uh, you've been outbid by Coho Val. See if you want to fire back. A little bit of a whale snipe says shirt snacks. <laughs> Let's count it down to Coho Val. I know Coho Val's still shopping for those Christmas presents. And let's see here. Snow Crust Racer does fire back with a 52. All right, so we will see what happens between these two I don't know how badly Coho Val wants to take it home but if you don't have any copper pieces you know they are definitely interesting they look different than the silver pieces it's artwork for sure so let's see here uh, we can count it down to Snow Crest Racer though that'll be a three there And I think I'm going to bring out my favorite silver piece. Uh, my favorite silver round of all time after this. So if you don't know what it is, you will get to see it in a moment. The next thing will be my all-time favorite silver round. Battle of the Gatling Gun Whale, <laughs> says Roger S. I'm going to go and... Thank you so much, Silver Shane. I'm going to go ahead and put a 1. As soon as I see the 1 pop up, I will hit Sold. So last call on the Trump copper piece. Last call. Very, very difficult to make for me. I'm just not, I'm just not as good at copper yet. But it still is a cool piece. It's the only one I've ever done. I don't know if I'll make more. 
Gotta run. Peace out. Okay. Honest Valley <laughs> coming up. This is David. Ah. Oh, hey. Thank you so much for stopping by, Spectacular. Appreciate you, my friend. Yep. Go make some more vids. Do it. And I see my one, so I'm going to go ahead and hit sold. So congratulations to Snow Crust Racer. You got it. The first and only ever Copper Trump Pour. Snow Crust Racer. Boom. Okay. So let's go ahead and show off my favorite of all time silver round going up for auction next oh thank you my friend so i came across i've already finished my tube but i came across some of these really really smoking ones the 1973s this is the honest value never fails silver rounds this one is just incredible i think it literally went in the capsule immediately after it was minted in 1973 how crazy is that uss constitution just a smoking one this is my favorite design here of all time we have got auctions uh once a week on fridays and it's also got the good reverse not the liberty mint it's the constitution mint reverse so let's see if we can get the words to show up here kind of blurry for a second there we go finally got it so constitution mint no no state shall make anything but gold and silver coin in payment of debts a tender in payment of debts it's in the constitution there so and this is my favorite reverse the constitution mint david's in at 30 on this one it's just a gorgeous silver round. These are definitely my all-time favorites. This this one in particular, too. Yeah, it's a really good condition. And also the fact that it was capsulated right away. I think it's just... It's a real, real smoking, smoking one. I got low IQ silver at 50 on this one. And we got... Uh, Shirt stacks at 57 for the honest value never fails. I actually never have never auctioned one off before. Every single one I've ever bought, I've held on to. And one of my first pieces of silver I ever bought was one of these rounds. I still have it. Maybe I'll trade the rest of mine to you down the road. So spoil, spoil it am. Yeah, they're just smoking, dude. I think they're they're just absolutely gorgeous silver rounds. Definitely my all-time favorite. Uh, little Zeke's in at 57 on that one. If you'd like to join the bid, yep, you can do it right there. Thank you, Roger. Uh, Dan B's in at 59. Dan B, for the honest value, never fails. And at 59. Thank you, everyone, for all your bids. I see Roger, David, William, Low IQ, Shirt, Matt. Uh, right now we got little Zeke in the lead at 60 for the 1973 version. I have almost all of the years, I think. Um, and I do have uh, at least one of the half ounce. Those are pretty cool. I know there's quarter ounce versions of these, so I still need to get those at some point. But I'm trying to collect all of them. We can count it down to little Zeke here. <clears throat> And we'll do one more auction after this, and then we will do a giveaway. One more auction, then a giveaway. So we'll go ahead and count down. Uh, let's put a two in as well. We down to a two. Little Zeke in at 60 for the honest value never fails. Really good condition. Silver Wolf wants the gold back. Oh, that was a while ago. Let me refresh the chat over there. I got four chats. I'm, no, five chats I'm looking at. Wait a minute. No. One, two, three, four, five. I'm looking at six chats right now. <laughs> Whales pushing me out of meager bids, says David. 
Dan B in at 61. There is an end of stream giveaway. Yes. Every single week. Little Zeke fires back with the 62. Not wanting to let that one go. So Little Zeke is pretty determined to snag this one. They're gorgeous for sure. Yeah, Fiat. We got some madness. On the smoker. I wonder if you could send them in for grading. Does anyone know if NGC or PCGS will grade rounds like this? Like, would they assign a number grade to it? I'm just curious. I mean, the dies on these are not flawless. There are definitely some small just scratches probably in the die. I mean, this was back in the 70s. So even if you graded it, it probably would only get like a 66 or 7 or something like that. But I'm just kind of curious. If you're lucky, we get a story time. <laughs> this round going for well over a hundo on eBay, says Kirk Michaels. Bring it down to a two. Yeah, for this good a condition, it's definitely one of the best ones I personally have ever seen. And I think I have like 24 of them. Something like that. They do grade the Zombucks. Okay. So, do they assign number grades to them, old silver? Let's bring it to a one. As soon as I see the one on my screen, I'm going to hit sold. As soon as I see the one. Isn't there a big company that has vintage bars? Oh, they probably do. Yeah, I've seen that. Uh, what, what, what is the, the grading company, though? Oh, we got some bids here at the end. Uh, little Zeke back in at 64, though. Thank you, Silver Shane. It's a cool round for sure. So let's go ahead and do countdown once again. Yes, they do. Okay. Maybe I should send one in just for fun. It would be kind of cool to have one slabbed. I'll, maybe I'll look through all mine and, and I'll see if I can send one in to actually get graded. Because it would be... I, I have the um, PCGS membership, so... I mean, obviously, you got to pay, you know, shipping and the grading fee and everything. So, I'll probably wait till I send something else in. But, uh, Dan B65, Little Zeke 66. Little Zeke is determined on this one. So, let's do a three again. I think if I end up getting the, um, the, uh, world, end of World War II with the privy uh american silver eagle or gold eagle i'll probably send it in for grading so if i do that maybe i'll send one of these rounds to see what happens little zeke won't be denied <laughs> we put the two in let's go ahead and i'll put the one in as well and then once i see it pop on my screen i'll say sold so we're bringing it all the way down to a one let's see Finsen pops in with 70. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Finsen is in the mix. Okay, so little Zeke back in with 72, though. This could get interesting. Let's do the countdown again. See what happens here. This could get really interesting. Let's, let's, uh, yeah, popcorn time is a silver damsel. <laughs> this could get pretty crazy <laughs> yeah snipe yeah not quite an actual snipe but yeah real real close to being one i almost hit the sold i'll put the one in again and as soon as i see the one i'm gonna hit sold so we'll see what happens here we shall see i know kirk michaels is in dan b's in fincen is in yeah the lag is pretty crazy all right, we got Finn Sen in at 76. Little Zeke fires back with a 78. <laughs> this is this is really interesting. Yeah, the lag is pretty crazy, but Finn Sen 79. We definitely got some back and forth here. We will see who can win the battle. And I'll bring it. I'll bring it to a two. I got Finsen at 79. Finsen at 79. Little Zeke is out. 
All right. Shall we bring it down to a one? Let's do it. As soon as I see the one, I'm going to hit sold. Little Zeke, you're out. Last call, my friend. Uh, Mrs. Finn send like silver. Yes, <laughs> I think she does. <laughs> as soon as I see my one on the chat, I'll hit sold. That's, that's sort of my way to deal with the lag. Hopefully it works out where people actually get a chance to see the one and everything. I think people are seeing the chat right away, though. I think there's just a slight disconnect between the chat and what's on the screen because YouTube is doing something weird. All right, there it is. Sold. Congratulations, Finn Sen. You got it. Wow, impressive. Finn Sen taking home my favorite of all the silver rounds. The honest value never fails. It's a gorgeous piece. Congratulations, my friend. Very impressive. All right, so I know we got to do another giveaway, but first let's break out the half toner. We'll do one more auction here. It is the half toner, the Aztec Cookie 1.6. Yeah, the chat is live. Yeah, so if you're just watching the chat, you'll be okay. I wonder, I, I don't think I've ever had a stream where the, the disconnect was in between the chat and what was on the screen. But I guess as long as you're watching the chat, you'll be good. I think the chat is super fast too. So this is the half toner. So this one here is really cool cookie. 1.6. Nice, nice colors in the background. A little bit hard to see. One of the eyes is actually much more brightly colored it's the the skull's left eye when you're looking at it you see it on the right it's a little orange there in the light it just really pops but then the other side is the hammered finish it's a smoker i posted some pictures of this one on uh, instagram 1.6 troy ounce check out that hammered finish such a unique piece david's in at 65 yeah, the eyes are really cool. So this is some definite pirate's treasure here. We'll see where the bids go on this one. 67 for old silver. Right on, right on. Uh, 68 for David. Kirk is in at 69. I got Kirk. Very cool. It's a fun piece for sure. Old silver at 71. I've never made a piece like this. It's a one of a kind, one of one. Yeah, the hammered finish. It, it takes a while. It definitely makes your hand hurt. <laughs> but it is a really cool one. Thank you, Kirk. Yeah, I put it got its own individual picture on Instagram. I loved it so much. But it was in the group photo as well. By the way, we did hit 10K on Instagram today. So I'll be giving away a gold bar. Stay on the lookout for that tomorrow. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, gold bar giveaway going up tomorrow. Uh, old silver at 81 on this. What a cookie. Yes, yes. What a cookie. It is. I mean, it is a 101. <laughs> it, I've never made one like this before, ever. Just such an interesting piece with all the colors behind the skull. And it's cookie, too. And then, of course, the hammered finish really is an interesting concept. It's a uh, Aztec. Aztec skull, not Mexican. And it's handmade by myself, so I'm not Mexican, so I, I, I don't know if that factors in. But look at the transition here between the toned to the shiny. Pretty cool piece. Let's go ahead and count it down. Old Silver was at 81. Let's start the countdown. See if anyone else wants to get a little piece of this action. <laughs> <clears throat> Hammered finish is sweet. Yeah, the hammered finish, it definitely takes more time. Um, and you got to get it just right. There's there's a, a couple different ways to do it. You can use different size hammers and, and all these things. Low IQ and an 82. All right, all right. Thank you, little Zeke. I appreciate that, my friend. It is some nice pirate treasure. There's only one more cookie left after this one. Arg! Only one more cookie. <laughs> So I'll count it down to low IQ. And uh, don't forget, we're doing a giveaway right after this. Giving away some free silver to anyone in the chat. 
Stay tuned for free silver giveaway. Ding, ding, ding. All right, bring it to a two. And then we're going to bring it to a one. And when we bring it to a one, I'm going to give it a second here and see if anyone else would like to bid. If we don't get any bids, as soon as I see the one, we're going to hit sold. As soon as I see the one, we will hit sold. So I don't know if Old Silver wants to pop back in or what, but this could be it. Uh, there's a good amount of challenge coins left on the site, Ren. I don't think I ever updated the inventory, but there's, there's a good amount left. And I see the one, so we are going to sell it. Congratulations. You got it, low IQ silver. Impressive. You beat out all the competition on that one. So now it's giveaway time. <laughs> it's a beautiful piece. Beautiful piece. Nice booty there. Nice booty. Arg. <laughs> All right, let's give away some free stuff. So a six or a five will get you the Merc. A four or a three will get you the Rosie. And a two or a one will get you the Warnickel. So anyone in the chat, as long as you got a USA shipping address, that's the only prerequisite to enter the giveaways. I'm going to write a number on the back of the sticker. Then I'm going to put two numbers in the chat and you can start guessing. So good luck, everyone. You got to guess the correct number and be the first on my screen. That is what you have to do if you want to win. <laughs> and then we'll roll to see what prize you actually win. So there we go. All right. How much silver rounds? I don't know how many silver rounds are on the website. I'm not sure. So you got to read the two numbers and guess in between them and just guess fast. But it's unlimited guesses. <laughs> All right, let's do the giveaway. Let's see who wins it. Let's see who wins. You got to be quick. Uh, we got it. We have a winner. It was 157. 157. So on my screen, I'm seeing um no nope. old silver. Old silver got it. That's awesome. Congratulations old silver. Very impressive. Old silver wins the giveaway but which giveaway will it be we need to roll and find out let's roll it's a two that's gonna be the war nickel still silver though it's got any letter any letter up top makes it a war nickel this one's got an s san francisco mint war nickel for free congratulations old silver you got it. Just make sure you email me to claim your prize, and I'll get it mailed out to you. All right, all right, all right. Nothing like some free silver, 35 percenter. Let's keep on rolling with the auctions. Uh, next thing we're going to bring out will be, let's do the last cross of the night. Get this stuff out of the way. Old Silver strikes again. So this is the one ounce cross. It's exactly one ounces. It is the uh, second one I've ever poured. I've only ever poured two. So one ounce cross going up for auction. And this one is just shiny throughout. There's no toning or antiquing on this one. It's just a polished piece. So polished throughout. One Troy ounces and nice and shiny nice and shiny there we go winning is winning absolutely you get this you get the winning sticker too old silver <laughs> so if you like to bid on the uh, last silver cross of the night feel free 
Nice little poured piece. They're actually pretty hard to pour. Um, I'll be honest. The smaller molds like this are pretty difficult. It's a graphite mold, so. Shirt stacks in a 45, not messing around at all. Very impressive. Matthew in at 50. Awesome. We got some uh, some good bids here. How many silver quarters are an ounce? A little under six. <laughs> a little under six. You can't do it with just quarters. It's 14 dimes. So four quarters and four dimes is an ounce. There you go. A uh, little Zeke and a 57 on the cross. Just wanted to give a like and say hello. Thank you so much, Woozy. Appreciate that, my friend. <clears throat> All right, so little Zeke, we'll count it down to you. Last cross of the night. We'll see who takes it away with a three. Uh, but shirt stacks coming in real quick with a 58. Nice. Van Helsing would approve of the cross. Google Silver Melt. Uh, or go, go to Coinflation. You can figure it out too. Little Zeke in at 60 on that one. 5.4. Yeah, something like that. Well, I think it's more than 5.4. It's got to be because... If six would be 150, yeah. Uh, it's a one ounce Fiat Destroyer. That's the biggest I can make them to with this mold. Maybe a 1.1, I guess, but it's just a one ounce polished cross. Second one I've ever made. Pretty cool piece. Nice and polished. Real shiny. Great piece to carry in your pocket. Yes, yes. Have it blessed by a priest before you use it against any vampires. <laughs> Pure silver cross. Little Zeke in at 64 on that one. Little Zeke is doing pretty good. Let's count it down to Little Zeke, see if anyone wants to bid against that. Michael Decker is at 65. Wow. All right. A little bit of a battle here. It is a very nice piece, though. Little poured piece to add to the poured silver collection or silver stack. Yeah, 5.6 sounds a little bit more legit. I think it might even be <laughs> a little higher than that budget. <laughs> I don't know. So I got Michael Decker. Let's bring it down to a two. Dan, I've got you out. Oh, Dan's back in with 67. Okay. All right, Dan's in with 67. So let's switch that to a three. <clears throat> Make sure we get the order right here. And let's bring it to a two. So we're at 67 on the cross. So Decker comes back with a 68. All right. Decker with the 68. We got Dan out, little Zeke out. And we will see if anyone wants to bid against Michael Decker. Probably could see some whale emojis in here for this. <laughs> Let's count it down. Just buy a bunch of Constitution Silver. You'll be fine. Yeah. The more junk, the better. But I prefer dimes. I just... I really do. They're they're, they're really fra fractional. And they're 90% and recognizable. So quarters are good. Dimes are good. Half dollars are good. You know, it's all good. It's all good. Hey, yo, what up, Jonathan Reese? How you doing tonight, my friend? little bit of a delay on the stream I'll put the one in as soon as I see the one I'm gonna go ahead and hit sold Fiat Destroyer has to let out a secret apparently wonder what the secret is Fiat Destroyer we will see we're down to a one last call but yeah I, I still don't know why there's a little bit of a lag between the stream and the chat if you just go off the chat you should be fine uh, Dan Zinn at 69. Wow, that is a snipe right there. My gosh. So we'll do the countdown again. That was just before I saw the one, dude. I was like literally just before. <laughs> Michael Decker is out. Will he push it to 60 or to 70 rather? We'll see. As we count down to Dan B. 
Just picked up some junk silver today. Nice, Godfather. That's awesome. Always good to be buying some silver in these tumultuous times. Bring it down to a one. You're out, Decker. Once I see the one, I'm going to hit sold. We will see if anyone wants to challenge Dan B on this one. Always cutting it close. He's out. All right. As soon as I see the one, I'm going to put sold into the chat. We never heard your secret, Fiat Destroyer. <laughs> All right. Almost there. It's probably going to be Dan B. And we're going to say this one is officially sold. Congratulations, Dan B. You got it. Walker Stalker in the house. <laughs> That's a cool name. Did you win a, a Walker or something, Jonathan Reese? Dan B. He got it. That's awesome. Mmm, Walkers. Uh, a lot of war nickels in the nickel boxes. Hey, that's cool. That's free silver right there. Gotta love that free silver. All right. Let's keep on going. Bring out another cool silver round. This one is probably one of my s mm, second, definitely top five silver rounds of all time. It's the constitutional right to bear arms. Oh, yeah. Dan B is serious tonight for sure. So constitutional right to bear arms, silver round, going up for sale. Just a gorgeous piece. We'll show you the other side here. It's got the second amendment on it. If we can get it to focus. There we go, second amendment. Come on, well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a uh, free state the right of people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed one troy ounce three nines fine silver pretty cool one yep second amendment thomas jefferson at the bottom so a really cool silver round here gotta love these gotta love exercising that second amendment right uh, Matt's going to be in at 20. All right, well below spot, but why not? <laughs> Dan B is destroying that Fiat. Finally finished my quarter guardhouse box. 500 facing quarters. Congratulations, Fiat. 500 faces, quite an accomplishment. That is very impressive. All right, old silver in at 30. Shall not be infringed. Absolutely. David in at 35 on this beautiful piece here. I uh, don't accept Bitcoin, no. Tim dropping the 50. Not messing around at all. Little Zeke 53. Two right bear arms. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Dude, Fiat, that's insane, man. Um, can you mail my cookie to an address not as yeah low IQ silver just email me and let me know where you want me to mail it that's fine no problem just email me make sure you let me know where you want your stuff mailed we got a uh, little Zeke at 57 on this one also support the right to arm bears <laughs> uh, 65 for Tim Tim's in at 65 and it obviously comes with the black ring capsule, of course. Nice black ring capsule here. Love that American flag in the background. Just love it. Smoking. And you get the Silver Dragons auction winner sticker as well. 10 minutes 70. Oh my gosh. Very impressive. It's a gorgeous one for sure. Gorgeous. Little Zeke in at 72. We got a battle for this one here. I think we'll, I know what we'll do next. I've got a plan. We got a plan. Tim 75 in alternate universe. It says left of the people to keep in bare arms shall not be infringed. <laughs> that's just the quarters, mind you. Now time to finish off the half and dime boxes. Fiat, that's insane, man. That is so much silver. 
That's got to be heavy, bro. Those boxes are huge. That is quite impressive, dude. Tim's in at 77. We got a battle between Tim and little Zeke here. We got a battle for sure. We will see who comes out on top. What a savage model 16 bolt action rifle. 308 win yesterday at work. Work at Federal am Ammunition. That's cool, Ted's Hobbies. Man, that's very cool. Do you get a discount on your ammo too? Love that piece for sure. Little Zeke in at 78. Let's see, 1775 X face yesterday. That's a good deal, Fiat. You're getting those private party deals. Tim's in at 80. Bear number eight down. Work tomorrow. What? Oh, beer number eight. <laughs> Finn Sen is having some fun. That's okay. Hanging out, watching some silver auctions. Having fun. Fold. Okay. Looks like it's going to be Tim. He says, nice. Let's bring it down. We'll start at a three. I feel like everyone's out, so it might just go to Tim. <clears throat> so we'll go down to a two as well. Vincent weekend mode. <laughs> From a two, we will go all the way down to a one. As soon as I see the one on my screen, I'm going to hit sold. We got Tim with a bit of 80 on the constitutional right to bear arms silver round. Last call on this beauty soon as I see the one so this is this is fair warning absolutely how'd you get into pouring oh gosh well I saw people pouring and I thought that looks like fun and so I started doing it <laughs> I bought all the stuff I mean I made videos the whole way there it's all on my channel congratulations by the way Tim you won it Poured my very first piece live. It was very nerve-wracking. Capadona. 80. And, uh, you know, the rest is history. It's been a crazy journey pouring. I learned so much. I've learned probably more about that than, like, well, okay. I've, I guess being a paramedic, I had to learn quite a bit. But any other jobs really before that, you know. It's a hobby, but I've spent so much time doing it. Uh, let's break out the heart. Let's go ahead and do the, the heart. Yeah, no snipe tonight. Congratulations, Tim. So we'll do a 1.9 ounce heart. This is customizable. It's the only option or the only item tonight that will be customizable. So we have a 1.9 ounce silver heart. Really nice ripples on this one. A little bit of uh, dragon fire as well, you can see. A little bit of dragon fire kissed ripples. So it's a pretty cool one. And then the customizable option is on the reverse. So if it'll fit it, I will stamp it at the bottom there. So we got the dragon 2020, 1.9 troy ounce flame. And then down here at the bottom, if I can fit it, I'll stamp it. So I can do a name, anniversary, whatever you want me to put down there. Yellow brick bullion's already at a hundo on this gorgeous heart uh, can you make silver bullets uh, not real ones but I could make I guess I could make uh, just silver ones for fun beautiful ripples wifey would love it for sure it's a gorgeous one by the way you sent me that 1906 penny nice I hope that was the right one Tim Tim are you saying that you won it and I sent it to you on purpose or I messed it up <laughs> let me know Wifey loves hers. Let's see those bids, says Finn Sen. Absolutely. Shirt stacks in at 107 on the heart. These silver hearts make great gifts. Uh, you know, so you could put her name, your initials, her initials, both of them, anniversary date, whatever you want to put. As long as it'll fit, I'll stamp it on the back there. So they make a great gift for sure. My first heart I ever poured went to my wife. So there we go. Shirt stacks is in at 107 on this smoking poured silver piece with ripples for days it actually does have a really nice ripple pattern I'll say really nice ripple pattern um you're right old silver it is five dollar increments yeah shirt stacks uh you got a bid 110 old silver was at 105 
Well, Old Silver is going to accept the 107 and go to 112. You'll email me later. Okay. Yeah, email me later, Tim. I want to make sure there's no issues. Just let me know. We'll get it all figured out. Yes, it is $5 after 100 Thanks for reminding me. Appreciate that. It is $5. So we'll put uh, Old Silver at 110 <clears throat> Old Silver, 110 I'll lower you down to 110 Old Silver. Oh, he's going to say 115 I think you're bidding yourself up, though. So we'll just leave you at 110 Old Silver. But Dan B's in at 120 All right, so we do have a little bit of a battle here for sure. Poured heart for my wife as well. Didn't have sweet ripples, though, says Ted. If my bid was 82, I pay 86, correct? Yeah, that's correct, low IQ silver. $4 for USA shipping. Old silver, 125. So we got a battle between Dan B and Old Silver at the moment for this gorgeous heart. Uh, silver Moose said when he gave his wife the silver heart he bought, it was better than his honeymoon. Not going to elaborate, but that's what Silver Moose said, so. The wifeys do like the hearts. <laughs> it's a nice gesture. It's a very nice gesture. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's count it down to old silver. And th Oh, by the way, this is the only heart tonight. There's no other hearts. Uh, I only made one. So if you don't win this one, then I guess you'll have to hope that maybe I do one next week. Give me one to my daughter for her birthday. That's awesome, Coho Val. Happy birthday to your daughter. 28 days later, putting all those nukes in. It's worth the dollar. Let's go, peeps. Vincent. <laughs> Old Silver's calculating. Old Silver, you're still winning, so... Let's bring it down to a 1. As soon as I see the 1 on my screen, I'm going to hit sold. Coho Val pops in with the 130, though. Okay, we, we actually got Coho Val in, so let's count it down to Coho Val. 135 for Dan B. Dan B is back in the mix. No such thing as old silver, only old people. <laughs> oh, gosh. We got Dan leading the charge on this one. Coho Val dropping the 140. All silver is old silver. That's true. Some people say gold and silver are... God's money. I think it was Robert Kiyosaki that perhaps coined that phrase or he made it popular saying that gold and silver are God's money because they're elements and they're put here on the earth when it was created and that the fiat currency is made by man and it's being inflated into nothing but you could still buy gold and silver today. They're elements. So Coho Val's in at 140. Let's count it down to Coho Val. If you think you got a good response from Silver, try giving gold to Silver Damsel. Maybe I'll make a gold heart. Should we make some gold hearts? Oh, gosh, that'd be crazy, wouldn't it? That'd be so heavy. And like, if I poured this size, I have to get a smaller mold. All right, let's bring it down to a two. Silver Damsel, is there a gold damsel out there? <laughs> Coin the phrase. Yes, it does fit well. Weight's 1.9, Dan B., Old silver's in at 150. Gold and silver are only made in the hearts of stars, says Roger S. Mm. Someone emailed me today about like a, a comet that was Elon Musk was thinking about flying to and trying to mine or something like that. And I just, I cannot fathom that actually working out. I mean, maybe, you know, someone way smarter than me could plan it all out and make it work. Oh, Coho Val's out. Okay, Old Silver's in at 150, though. But I just... It would just be insane. Like, think about how many, how much mining equipment you need to send to a comet. And then, you know, like, what's the actual gold and silver ore in there? You know, because it's ore. You're not going to pull out just, like, nuggets. <laughs> Bring it to a 1. As soon as I see the 1 on my screen, we'll hit sold here. But anyway... I think it would be insane to actually mine a comet. I don't think it'll ever happen, at least not in my lifetime, but who knows, you know, look how far we've come with technology on the cell phone. Now everyone's got a computer in their pocket with, you know, crazy amounts of storage and crazy good screens. 
Last call on this one. Ooh, Dan B pops in with the 155. Oh my gosh. I saw it right before. I wonder if, wow, that's impressive, dude. Dan B's in. I thought you were going to win that one, Old Silver, but you're just barely out. That was snipe for sure. Thought I read something about landing on an asteroid. Old Silver quit. Oh my gosh. High premium for Comet Gold. Yeah. Wow. Old Silver quit. So Dan is in. We'll count it down. Yeah, meteor mining. Not going to happen. I mean, that's not where the Pamp Sweets kilos come from. <laughs> Can you imagine if you go to an asteroid and they just had a bunch of kilo bars of gold? I mean, come on, it's ore. Like, you gotta refine it, melt it. I mean, there's a whole process. Chop it up. Asteroid mining is the future, says Roger S. It might happen. I mean, you know, crazy things have happened. So, will you be pouring any more Viking coins before Christmas? I did not plan on doing that, Coho Val, but, uh, you know, I mean, I could, yeah. All right, there's the one. It's sold to Dan B. Congratulations. Beat me up, Scotty. <laughs> wow. Dan, impressive. Impressive, my friend. Coming in at the end there with that snipe. A successful snipe. We need to get some snipe emojis up in there. Impressive. So, Dan, you have to email me separate from your paying and let me know what you want me to stamp on the heart so I can stamp it up, give it a final polish, and then get it mailed out to you. Congratulations, my friend. Awesome piece there. All right. So I mentioned earlier that I had another style, Libertad. Let's bring that one out. So we have, oh, by the way, we're definitely going to get PG to PG-13 here with this one. This is a 2016 Libertad. It's the newer style, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend too much time on this coin, but it is uh it's a pretty pretty cool coin. Nice gorgeous piece. A lot of people are waiting for the 2020s to come out, and uh, you know I wonder why people like buying these. So anyway, it's the 2016. So if you want to bid on a 2016 Libertad, it's a, it's a cool one. <laughs> oh, I just just the chat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the chat is is just killing me. Oh, it's so funny. Where's Steve Woods? <laughs> it's a cool one. Shirt stacks in at 35. David's in at 40. <laughs> Come on, this is a coin here, all right? This is backed by the sovereign nation, Mexico, all right? Yeah, no ledge, no edge lettering. In fact, even the older style doesn't even have edge lettering. Once they get into the mid-90s, they switch over to a reeded edge like this one. Yes, yes. Reeded edge started in, I think, 95. Was it 95 or 94? Someone, someone can let me know in the chat. David's in at 40 on this Libertad. Yeah, cost too much to haul heavy metals back to Earth. I agree. Uh, Kirk in at 45, Tim in at 50 on that one. Come on, guys, grow up, says Silver Wolf. We'll just show off the coin one more time before we start the countdown here. It's just a nice piece of silver, you know. They just did a really good job in Mexico on the silver. If we can get it to focus. Plata Pura, 2016 Lay, one Onza, Steve Witt, Steve Woods, wow, Steve Wood pops in, wouldn't you know it, right as we're showing off the new style Libertad, 2016, so there you go, anyway, David's in at 56, We'll see if anyone else wants to bid, or we'll count it down to David for this cool coin here. <clears throat> uh, the proofs of this design are amazing, says Ink Scars. I have not seen the proofs of this design. Yeah, good, good timing, Steve. I'll have to check out the proofs. I haven't seen one. 
I do have a 5 ounce version of this. I'm not going to break it out on the stream because it I mean it definitely hit the PG-13 on the 5 ounce version. 60 last shot across the bow says David. All right, David's last shot at 60. See if anyone else wants to bid above 60. Silver dragons make my wife upset. I just told her I like the silver content. <laughs> Oh, dude, that's funny. It's it's a it's one ounce of silver, all right. <laughs> you haven't seen the proofs worth googling. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you guys are hilarious. All right, I'm gonna put a one in. As soon as I see the one on my screen, I'm gonna hit sold. So last call. It's going to David at, for sixty right now. Last call for the 2016 Libertad. <laughs> Last call here. If anyone wants to get a piece of the action. Moving stuff in space is easy. Getting to where you want is the hard part. Yeah, I understand that concept. Like, there's no gravity, Roger S., right? I mean, are they just trying to redirect? She doesn't understand history. There's the one. You got it, David. Wow, congratulations. I mean, are they just trying to move the whole comet to, like, land on Earth somewhere and then mine it? Or like, what's the, you know, what's the strategy? Just think about all the equipment they'd have to get up there. Like, getting it off the ground. How much, how much is that going to cost, you know? Alright. Yes, first win. Alright. Great first win, David. Congratulations, my friend. Alright. Alright. Moving right along, let's go ahead and do the last of the Aztecs, and then we'll do another giveaway, okay? One more auction, and then we'll do another giveaway. 1.7 Az Aztec Toned. This is the biggest one of the cookies. Biggest one of the cookies. It's a toner. Do you think we'll see Black Friday action? Yes, we do. We will, Fiat Destroyer. Absolutely, we're going to see some Black Friday sales. They're going to go fast, though. If Amex does another spot deal, it's going to go super fast. Saw them do it in a movie. <laughs> nice. So this one here, it's at, hey, Silver Damsel, this one's got some blue. Where is Silver Damsel? I know she's what she likes the blue. Lots of blue on this one here. Let's go, says Silver Wolf. 1.7 ounce cookie 2020, biggest of the cookies. Yep, Roger S. is saying, oh my goodness. Yes, indeed. It will go to the highest bidder. So the biggest toned Aztec cookie. with It's got lots of pinks and oranges and blues and purples and lots of cool colors there. So a little bit of legit pirate treasure. Uh, Kirk's going to start it off with 80. Can I wait till the end of the stream? Yeah, that sounds good, David. You can wait till the end of the stream, and if you win anything else, it's combined shipping. So you only have to pay for shipping once. I'm broke now, says Low IQ Silver. Roger S. in at a hundo on that one. Dan B. says mine, but it is the last of the cookies. It's a cookie because it's not a complete pour. It doesn't go all the way around. So it's a little more rare, a little more unique. Roger fires back with a 110. War, says Old Silver. We are up to the $5 increments now. So we'll, we'll see if anyone wants to bid against Roger S. Definitely a whale. Absolutely. I'm proud of Yuma Man Dragons. Thank you, Silver Damsel. I tried to get some blues in there. <laughs> what sale did Atmex do for Black Friday last year? They had three spot deals. Gold Sovereigns, uh, the Silver Queen's Beast, and the Platinum 1 10th ounce Britannias. I got the Queen's Beast and the Platinum 1 10th ounce Britannia at spot. I didn't get the Gold Sovereign at spot. Uh, what would you pay for a roll of Mercury Dimes at currently spot price? Ooh, current spot price, I, ooh. Face value, I try and keep it under 18x. Try and keep it under 18x face value. Uh, we got Roger at 120. Uh, E1 Guwap. You do need to register to bid, my friend. 
Uh, it's the first link in the description. If you register, your name will come up in green. You'll get a little dragon, and then you can bid. So we can't take that one. So we got Roger S. at 120. Someone get the cannons ready. <laughs> Cobra Stacker. Got to go home watch the kids. Okay. Oh, you had to. You're back now. Awesome. Steve Woods, thanks for the three spot. Uh, Roger, you don't need to bid. You're still in the lead. We got Roger at 120. But we will count it down to you, Roger. We got you at 120 on the last of the cookies. Who will be the cookie monster tonight? Who will be the cookie monster? I don't know. We will see. Really cool toning, though. Nice blue and purple on the reverse. Lots of blue. Hey, E1 Guwap, you got it. Welcome, my friend. Bit of 130. Looks like E1 Guwap really wants a piece of this cookie. Congratulations, and also welcome to the Dragon Legion, my friend. Thank you for registering. Roger, Roger fires back with the 135. SD, this is a thank you for last year. Got a tube of kooks for 18 apiece. You're welcome, Steve. There was an error on Provident Metal's website. Right as they were getting bought out by JM Bullion, someone made a mistake and listed kookaburras for 18 bucks. I did a little, was it a video or a community post? I forget, but a lot of people bought them. I got some. E1 Guap at 140. Thank you, Michael Decker. I appreciate that, my friend. Roger S. not letting this one go. 145. Oh, my gosh. We will see what happens on the last cookie of the night. Who will be the cookie monster? I don't know. It is a battle for sure. Dropping the 160 E1 Guwap. Crazy sweet colors, I know. Thank you, Silver Damsel. Roger fires back. Fiat Destroyer got like five or six of the Kookaburras. Nice, dude. Thank you, Glenn. Yes, spot under 25 at the moment. We got Roger at 165 on this one. It is a one of a kind. No cookie will. No two cookies are ever alike. No two cookies are ever alike. But also the ripples too. Those have some nice ripples on the side. The side ripples. They want that blue. I know. I'm trying to get it to focus here. There we go. It's got nice ripples. I stamped everything on the flat spot not to disrupt the ripples. But, ah, uh, the curse. Curse of the Cortez. Yes, yes. Battle of the Mods. Ooh, E1 Guap fires back with the 170 on the toned cookie. The toned cookie. Such a nice little piece of pirate treasure. We'll see who will take it home. Arg booty beauty, says Michael Decker. Boomer sooner. No two cookies ripple the same. Yes, and they also don't pour the same, so like the shape will be different. But this is a really nice shape on this one. Roger, step it up. Oh, Roger's out. E1 is going to win it if no one else bids. So let's count it down to E1 at 170. Let's do the countdown. We'll go. We'll do. We'll do pretty quick, I guess, because no one else was in there. Three, two. Down goes Roger. Says twenty-eight days later with the snipe emoji. All right. Is that a piece for Pirates of the Caribbean? Yes, it's the same design. Yes, it is. All right, down to a one. Last call. As soon as I see the one on my screen, I will hit sold. Matt, how long are you going tonight? Any gold going up? Thank you for the two spot, Matt. Yeah, I do have a little bit of gold for sure. Usually we save it for towards the end. But we're doing a giveaway right after this. We're doing a giveaway. Uh, probably going for three hours tonight. What, what time are we at? Already at two and a half? My goodness. Maybe we'll go a little bit longer. All right. Let's say sold. It's a prop piece. Congratulations. E1 Guwap, you got it. The last cookie of the night. Very impressive. E1 Guwap. Beat out the competition. Apparently you are the Cookie Monster. What up, Hi-Ho Stacker? How you doing, my friend? Welcome. 
Let's get to the giveaway, shall we? Giveaway time. All right, so giveaway. We're going to go ahead and after we pick a winner, we'll roll. If you get a, a four, five, or six, you get the Merc. One, two, or three, you get the Roosevelt Dime. What kind of silver dime are you going to win tonight? Gracias, says E1 Guap. So let's go ahead and put a number on the back of a sticker. First person to guess the correct number on my screen will be the winner. Anyone can guess. You just have to have a USA shipping address. That is all you need to guess. So good luck, everyone, on the giveaway. All right. Let me make sure. Yeah. Okay. I know what I wrote. All right. Here we go. Boom, maybe Hi-Ho Silver will win. Let's see who wins it. Mm, I see it, I see it, I see it. You can stop guessing, it's 65. Who got 65 first? Let's look on the screen share. Live chat, of course. And it's gonna be Quicksilver. Oh my gosh, Quicksilver again. Lightning can strike twice, second one of the night. Bob is cool. You were too slow. Quicksilver beat ya. That's impressive. But let's see which one you're going to get, Quicksilver. Let me write you down here, too. Well, let's see. Higher numbers is the Mercury Dime. Three, so you get the Roosevelt. Awesome. Congrats. Second win of the night. That's very cool. Yes, two in one night, Quicksilver. You got the Roosevelt Dime as well. Clean in house on the giveaways. That's awesome. We still got one more giveaway, and then we have the end of stream giveaway as well. So two more giveaways, I suppose. But that is very cool. So let's go ahead and bring out another auction item here. Um, let's go ahead and do one of these guys here. Let's do the Pyramid. 3.7 ounce pyramid. Yeah, it's unlimited guesses, Michael Decker. <laughs> Guessing game is tough on mobile. Yeah, you once you hit the go, you gotta you gotta roll fast. So 3.7 ounce pyramid. Really cool piece. Nice toning. It's uh, sort of the dark antique in the back. It's a nice shiny silver on the front. Very nice. Nice, nice pyramid here. And we are 3.7 ounce is total weight. So this actually ties the trump piece for the heaviest of the night, I suppose. 3.7. The little flame right in the middle. Yellow brick bullion's already dropping buck twenty on that. Alright, Glenn Cox in at 130 on the pyramid. It's a smoking pyramid for sure. Thank you, Stacking Skier. Appreciate that, my friend. Kirk Michaels, 140 on it. 140 for Kirk Michaels on the 3.7 ounce pyramid. It's not a pyramid scheme. It's real life. <laughs> Dan B, 150. All right. Got a little bit of a battle here for this gorgeous. The bottom is super clean. Yeah, it's very nice and shiny, polished. Old silver dropping to 160. Yeah, really clean on the bottom. You got the dragon, the Troy, Troy 3.7 Troy ounces, 999 fine silver, 2020, and you got the flame right in the middle. Really clean. Popcorn time. <laughs> we can count it down to old silver. Let's see if anyone else wants to bid against that. Start with a three here. Thank you, David. Appreciate that. It's a fun piece for sure. Gotta love these. E1 Guwap coming in. 165. All right. You're out, Silver. Old Silver, that is. Uh, Saber Matney. I don't know if you're guessing on the giveaway. Maybe you're a little bit late. How did I get into Silver Pouring? I got into it, honestly, just by watching people on YouTube do it, and I caught the bug. In fact, Hi-Ho Silver, who was in here a little bit earlier, I was watching a lot of his videos when I first started. 
So let's count it down to E1. You've come a long way in your stamping skills. Thank you so much, Kirk Michaels. I appreciate that, my friend. It, uh, hey, Will, how you doing? We're doing awesome. It's, uh, you know, it, it's been quite the journey. I mean, there's so many different things you have to learn. But, um, oh, let's see. How much do you think it costs you to get all, to get all the items? When I first started, I probably dropped around 500 to 1,000. Probably more like 1,000. Um, yeah, furnace. Uh, I mean, you need all the stamping stuff, you need cleaning stuff, tumblers, lots of stuff. Old silver's out. Okay, one. As soon as I see the one on my screen, I'm going to say sold. So last call here on the pyramid. We got E1 Guwap in the lead. Um, let's see. I, I needed torches to heat up the molds. I needed the molds. Yeah, lots of stuff when you first start. Let's see if anyone wants to jump in on the pyramid. And we're going to say this one is sold. Congratulations, E1, sneaking in for the win. Very impressive. Goo wop. Goo wop. 165, taking it home. And Dan B, you were just barely out, my friend. Almost with the snipe. Dan always going for the snipes. But E1 Guap will take this one home tonight. It is a beautiful pyramid. Absolutely, E1. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. So we got some more stuff to auction off here. Let's go ahead and do one of these guys. The old Mandalorian silver coins. Smoking. Uh, flipping my breaker off. Yeah. Oh my gosh. The power strip killed me when I first started. <laughs> Dan B late again. So this is the uh, Mandalorian silver coin. Um, you know, Star Wars Mandalorian. It's the TV show. And this is the symbol for the Mandalorians. And then on the other side here, it's really cool because we don't have the queen's face on it, which makes this the best silver coin to ever come out. $2 face value, Republic of New Way 2020. Just a smoking piece. Gotta love these. Really, really gorgeous. Alright, Cobra's up to 65 on that. Very nice. Such an awesome coin. Yeah, one of my all-time, definitely my favorite Star Wars one to ever come out. Definitely. The good old days. <laughs> Dude, I made so many mistakes. On one of the hardest things about silver pouring is cleaning the silver after you pour it. So hard to do when you're first learning. You have no idea, you know, what to use, you know, how hard to press, what to do here and there. What if this happens? What do you do then? It's just a lot of troubleshooting when you first start pouring silver. And once you do it for, you know, I I've done probably close to 5,000 pours, I would say total a lot of mess ups too you know that i had to remelt and whatnot but i've done thousands of times and eventually you just you know you kind of get the hang of it and you get it you know what to do uh it's backed by new way it's the republic of new way it's a small island um i think these are made by the um, new zealand mint so made by it's sort of close to new zealand then all right, so old silver's at 69 on new A. Want a dragon head bar, says Kirk Michaels. <laughs> we do have one more <laughs> at some point, but we have a few more items to auction off before we get to that. How many ounces silver have you spilled on the floor? Probably 20 ounces, I bet. Probably 20 ounces. Let's count it down to old silver. Uh, you know, actually, my silver refiner, um, they said if I just bring, if I, like, vacuum and just bring it in, they'll refine it for me and give me, like, 80% of it. So, I'll probably do that. I've got a, so much silver, just, like, scrap, like, dirty stuff that I need to go in and get refined. Tim dropping the 75 on the Mando. 
All right, you're out, old silver. Hagen dies, pineapple, coconut, ice cream. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens here. See if Tim gets outbid or if he will take this one home. I've been trying for a m trying for one for months, says Kirk Michaels. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> I believe it. The Star Wars silver is just so cool, man. Some cool pieces. Love the frosting too on these ones. All right, let's bring it to a two, and then. I'll give it a few moments, then I'll put the one in, and then when I see the one on my screen, I'll say sold. But oh, old silver popping back in. You're out, Tim. Old silver's wanting to take this one home. We will see if it goes home to old silver. All right. Dragon head bar. People are saying dragon head bar. There is another buy it now coming up. I'm not going to say when we're going to do it, but <laughs> uh, at some point before we end the night, there will be another buy it now. So I'm sure someone's like ready and waiting for that. The dragon head. Oh, not the buy it now dragon head bar. The one ounce. Is that? I'm pretty sure that's what you're talking about. Tim is thinking we're down to a one old silver's at 76. So last call here. I did a 2-1 pretty quick. So, but as soon as I see the one, I'm going to hit sold. So, we'll see. Well, Roger, I'm jealous as Kirk Michaels. Because uh, you got your first earlier tonight. Yeah, the dragon head. I'm, I'm glad you got one, Roger. You need to add that one to the collection for sure. All right. As soon as I see the one, it's going to be pretty quick here. There it is, sold. Congratulations, old silver, you got it. Congrats, my friend. Old silver, destroying the competition. You'll be taking home the Mandalorian. Awesome, awesome piece. All right. So we're kind of flip-flopping. Um, oh, I forgot I had this one. Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. I, okay, I lied. There is a bigger piece I have to auction off. A toned pyramid. 3.9 ounces. So biggest one of the night. Forgot about this one. All right, biggest toned pyramid I think I've ever poured. It's got lots of cool colors on here. Especially if you look at it in the light, you'll see lots of oranges and purples and blues lots of cool stuff here now the bottom isn't all shiny it's sort of a matte finish on the bottom here but there's a lot of blue so silver damsel would be impressed 3.9 troy ounces 2020 it's a nice pyramid it's it's good that it sits flat too that's one important thing about pyramids all right shirt stacks in at 145 on the 3.9 ounce it's a fatty for sure. Gotta love the pyramids. Thank you so much, Dan B. I appreciate you, my friend. Yeah, great colors. Yeah, this one did turn out really nice. You see it in the uh, <clears throat> see it in the sunlight. The colors just pop even more. Shirt stacks in at 155 on that. We will see where this one goes. Quicksilver is like tempted, maybe. Quicksilver's got a lot of bigger pours from my earlier days, but I don't think you have any of my newer stuff, Quicksilver. If you're the same Quicksilver, I'm assuming you are. <laughs> we'll count it down to shirt stacks here. All right, let's see here. We're at uh, 155 for shirt stacks, and I'm trying to think what I got else to auction off. We got some options for sure. Yeah, we got a few more, few more, few more things before we get to the final giveaways. A few more items to auction off. E1 Guwap coming in with 160. Not wanting to see this one go. E1 Guwap, loving the poured silver. My kind of guy <laughs> or girl, I guess I don't want to. <laughs> but we'll go to a three here. We'll see. Uh, with the real quick. 
Silver, please stand up. Yeah, <laughs> please stand up. Chat does seem to be running slow. A little bit of a delay, I think, is the issue. Really want to bid. Won so many tonight. It's all good, Dan B. Uh, no more Morgans tonight, David. No. Dan B is coming back in. All right, Dan B is saying, I've won a lot, but you know what? I don't want to stop. Shirt stacks the 170 right after. Oh, my gosh. The problem is, Will, there's just a little bit of delay between when the chat comes up and then when you guys actually like hear me. I'm, I'm assuming when you hear me, it's delayed as well. And then when the chat comes up on the screen. So it's weird how YouTube did that, but... Goose coming in at 175. Goose. And no, Goose, we didn't have any Biden pours tonight. Only Trump pours, but they're all sold. This is the biggest piece of the night 3.9 ounce Aztec Pyramid. Nice pyramid. Full steps, just like uh, Jefferson Nichols should be. <laughs> Goose at 175. That's how I felt in the poor party last week. Ah, <laughs> I shouldn't get more, but I, I have to. <laughs> Let's count it down to Goose here. And Glenn is saying battle. Absolutely a battle because Dan B is back in with 180. Yeah, that poor party was insane. It took so long to... I'm just going to keep saying it. The The poor parties are murder on my back. <laughs> they really are. But it was so much fun. I mean, 50 pieces, incredible. If you missed the pictures on Instagram, you got to go check out the pictures. Um, and I am over 10,000 followers on Instagram, so gold bar giveaway goes up tomorrow. It's okay, E1 Guap. We see the 185. No worries. <laughs> we won't hold you to the 1185. Poor parties are sick. I know. I really want to do. Am I able to join poor parties? Yeah, Matt, you are a channel member. So for sure, Matt, um, when I do another poor party, you know, I'll post a, uh, a, uh, what is it? A video that's only for channel members to see where you can pre-order. And I would say, you know, you really want to pre-order as soon as you possibly can because then you get first pick or, you know, quick pick or whatever and um but also at the poor parties you can pick pieces too so we're down to a one as soon as i see the one we will hit sold need to check that out kind of want to get a chunky silver bar yeah we do some chunky stuff we have fun i do lots of stuff at the parties i think uh thank you so much stacking skier and then you give gold Thanks, man. Yeah, it'll be a fun giveaway going up tomorrow. You're not going to want to miss that. All right, there's the one. So we'll sell it to E1 Guwap. Congratulations. You have won the Toned Pyramid as well. So combo both pyramids. That's awesome. Guwap. All right. There you go, my friend. Very nice. What up, Silver Baggins? What up, Cujo? <laughs> Cujo? Thank you so much, Ted. I appreciate that. I'm glad you like it. Yeah, lots, lots of fun stuff was poured at that party. It was crazy. All right. Let's go ahead and... Someone said something about some gold, so we'll go ahead... We'll do a gold auction tonight. I only have one gold bar to auction off. It's an IGR bar. I'm going to leave it in the plastic so it stays as it would come from the mint. Our IGR, one gram, fine gold. Four nines, fine. Serial number does have a 47 in it, which is great. So if you want to get a little bit of gold, add some gold to the stack. Maybe you don't have any gold in the stack yet. A little one gram is a nice way to get into it. IGR, this is the new packaging on the IGR. This is not the old blue ones. So the new updated packaging on the IGR gold. So if you'd like to bid, go ahead. Joe, you do have to be a channel member to bid, my friend. If you'd like to become a channel member, it's the first link in the description down below. Yeah, you do need to be a channel member. 
Yeah, great little piece. Yeah, thanks. They're fun, you know? The little gram ones are super fun. Nice little gold bar there. Uh, not a member, but I'm a subscriber. Yeah, you do have to be a channel member. It's $2, Joe. T wins coming in at 50. I think that's pretty w pretty well under spot, but that's all right. Maybe hopefully we'll take it at least a spot. Brent's coming in at 60. What up, Brent? Shirt stack 70. Uh, I think I like dragons better just cuz it's, you know, it's it's who I am now, you know. I've really changed a lot since <laughs> Baggins days. Yep, feel free to join there if you like and then you can bid. Brent's in at 75. What about a $2 for WNE time bidding? Um, so the $2, he gets bidding, and then you also uh, get to participate in the poor parties to become the lowest tier channel member. You turn green, you get to use all the special emojis, and you get a dragon next to your name, which will change colors the longer you stay a member. So Kuo, welcome, newest Dragon Legion recruit. This is where I got my first gold, says Silver Shane. That's awesome. Uh, T-Wind is at 100 on this. Steve Woods, 105. Comes with a lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How you doing, Brent? The, um, uh, yeah, the Baggins thing was going to be, it was going to be very expensive to try and keep the name Baggins. So <laughs> when you got, you know, a big company coming after you, threatening stuff, it's best to just back off. Your name must be green or blue to bid in the auction. That's correct, Silver Damsel. The blue, the mods can bid, of course. <clears throat> so we can count it down to T Wind here. Um, the mods, I do appreciate all my mods. Thank you all for hanging out and and modding. It, I know it's a lot of work, but I really do appreciate it. And we'll go to a two. I'll wait a little bit, and then I'll put a one in, and then. If, uh, if once I see the one on my screen, I'll hit sold. So let's go down to a one here. So last call, T Wind, five seventeen is at one ten on the gold. Like Stephen King, but works. Okay. <laughs> All right, last call on the gold. It's the only gold of the night. It's one gram. Uh, Maz Evans is the newest subscriber. You are the newest subscriber. Welcome. I see you up there on the bottom right corner. That's super cool. How you doing tonight? Only 44 more needed. Uh, I'm actually over that. It's just you can't see it. All right, sold. Congratulations, T-Wind. You got it. Um, once you get above a certain amount, it doesn't show the number of subscribers under the 100 mark. So there you go. <laughs> All right, T Wind. Let's get you in there. 517. Congratulations. You also get the um, auction winner sticker, of course. Congrats, T Wind. Nice win. Yes. It's a 517, not an S. <laughs> All right. Let's keep on going here. Uh, let's do the last giveaway of the uh, of the small giveaways. We do have a big giveaway coming up, but I got about four more things to auction off. So let's do this giveaway. We'll do the last auctions, and then we'll shut down for the night. All right? So let's get this giveaway in. So we're giving away a Mercury Dime. So it'll be, uh, let me put something on the back of this sticker here. It'll be a number. What year did it get into stacking? Uh, oh gosh. Whatever year I started my channel. <laughs> so that year? I think 2018, I'm going to say. Right at the start of the year, though. I started hearing about it end of 2017 from a guy at work. And then I got into it pretty quick. All right, so numbers written. You got to guess two. No I'm going to put two numbers in. You guess in between those two numbers. First person to guess the correct number on my screen is going to be the winner. Mercury Dime giveaway. Good luck, everyone. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. Good luck. Unlimited guesses. Let's do this thing. 
Who will take home the Mercury Dime? Gotta love the Mercury Dimes. Oh, no way. I think we've got redemption on this one. 72. First person to get 72 wins the Merc. Here we go. Fiat Destroyer put in a 2. I think you were trying to put in 72, but finger slipped, so it doesn't count. We need 72. Bob is cool. 99. 72. Bob is cool. Redeemed yourself for being second last time. You were too slow last time, Bob. But you won this time. Free Mercury Dime. Bob is cool. 99. Congratulations, my friend. All right. Take it back now, y'all. And there will be one more giveaway at the end of the stream tonight. So stay tuned for one last giveaway of the night. GG, yes, yes, nice win. Congratulations, Bob. Make sure you email me with your shipping address so we can get that sent out to ya. Shoot me an email, my friend. All right, a couple things left to auction off before we shut her down. Let's go ahead and do this beautiful 1999 colorized American Silver Eagle. A little bit of Americana right here. Yes, yes, congratulations, Bob. So this is pretty cool. This is a one ounce American Silver Eagle coin. It is colorized, very nicely colorized as well, if I might add. A little bit of the dress starting to tatter, but still a cool piece nonetheless. Um, however, the other side is not colorized, so you got just the regular eagle on this side. 1999 comes in the black green capsule, of course. Nice little piece here. Glenn's in at 35. All right, bidding on Lady Liberty there. Send a Yankee. <laughs> yeah, Yank Yankee will do the dip. Some people like the, the color eyes, though. You know? I mean, some work went in to, to do that, so it would make a great gift for sure. Glenn Cox is in at 35. Fight Club, says Silver Shane. First rule about Fight Club. We don't talk about Fight Club. Name is Robert Paulson. Robert Paulson is a... Um, there's a insurance agent in my area with that name. <laughs> All right, Dan B's in at 50 on this one. Uh, there are some stickers on the website, Ren Socks Stocks. If you want to check out uh, my website, there's some stickers on there. Michael Decker has four novelty, yeah, but still cool. Tim's in at 65 on this eagle. It is a 1999, the old reverse. Lady Liberty there with the sun in the background. Like that American flag looking really smoking. Cool little piece. Yeah, pull a Yankee and clean the. <laughs> no, you gotta leave the colors. I would never, Glenn. <laughs> Let's count it down to 10 here. That's the difference between me and Yankee. If something's been, you know, altered or even improved, you know. I think just leave it as is. If someone else wants to clean it off, that's fine, but I wouldn't. I think it's cool. So we'll do a two. We got Tim at 65 on this piece. 1999, right before the Millennium Y2K. Those colors don't run, absolutely. Down to a one, last call. Glenn wouldn't clean it either, yeah. As soon as I see the one on my screen, I'm gonna hit sold here to Tim. Do have some more cool stuff to auction off before we shut her down here. We got another poured piece coming up. Did you hear all 1986, 87 Eagles are S-Mint? Really? Huh. I have a few of those, that's interesting. In fact, I have a proof one, which I don't think is an S. I don't know. Sold, congratulations, Tim. At least there's no S on my, pr oh, I, I think I actually sold it to uh, Steph. I haven't seen her in a while. But Steph won the, pr I had a proof 86, and I don't think there was an S mint mark on it. But are you just saying they were minted in San Francisco or something like that? Let's write you down here, Tim. All right, 
65 on the beautiful Eagle. Any more gold tonight? No more gold tonight, Fiat Destroyer. Just Silva. We did. We usually do like one gold. The, the gold is just <clears throat> kind of difficult because I don't have a lot of gold. <laughs> FinCEN got it. No mint marks. That's interesting. Even on the proof, though, I think everyone was waiting on that. Yeah, CSM Steph is MIA. Wow, you guys all lost to FinCEN, even after eight beers. <laughs> My goodness. Congratulations, FinCEN. Yeah, we missed Steph. Where are you, Steph? Come back to us. Maybe I'll text her, see what she's up to. Freedom of information shows mint locations per coin roll. That's cool. Uh, she was in ECP last night. Okay, I stopped by ECP for a little bit. I didn't see her, but I did stop by for a little bit. All right, let's get the last Aztec. Yeah, you were close, Silver Shane, but not quite. Last Aztec. This is not a cookie. It's a big one. Three troy ounces. Big Aztec here. This is the full piece. So it's a big one. But really nice, pristine antique on this one. If you wanted the the full piece, here it is. And this one also has incredible ripples, I will say. Three troy ounces. 2020 with really nice ripples. Ripples go all the way around the outside, the full rim. Literally, the ripples go all the way around, which is just crazy. And then you got this cool little ripple spot here where I actually put a fireball stamp right in the middle of that ripple. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? A little fireball stamp right on that ripple. So it's a fun piece. It's, it's a grown-up piece. Shirts at 115 on the grown-up piece, Cobra 120. It is a grown-up piece. You can see the eyes are black. Just a nice dark pirate treasure look. Arg. <laughs> They're a fun one. We got Cobra 120. And I think this is the last poured silver of the night. So not a lot. Thank you, Silver Shane. I appreciate that. Not a lot of stuff left to auction here. Eventually, we'll have to get to the final giveaway and shut her down. We're about three hours in. Thank you, Maz Evans. Appreciate that. It is a fun piece. Shirt Stacks is in at 135. Fire Nation, absolutely. Let's count her down. Big boy bids only. <laughs> I actually got Kirk Michaels. Sorry, Kirk Michaels at 135. E1 Guap at 140. Uh-oh, E1 Guap is showing up. How many ounces is this one? It is three ounces. It's pretty big. Cobra Stacker, 145. It's heavy in the hand. It's a heavy piece. Definitely heavy. But it is very nice. Pretty much, uh, I would say, almost perfect as far as all the features go. You want Guap fires back with the 150. And then really nice ripples as well. Really nice ripples. Just all around, I say, good classy piece. Very shiny. He one loves the Aztec themes. Absolutely. We will count it down. The wind goes to the first on Dragon screen. Oh, yeah, Nate, were you saying something about the giveaway? Yeah. I always show the winner on my screen, my friend, because your, sh your screen always gives you preferential... Um, viewing of your own chats so the only impartial way is just to show my screen so it's recorded on the stream though so we could always look back Michael Decker fires with the 165 1987 <clears throat> proof eagle NGC says one dollar I must be blind because I can't even find a mint mark on the coin yeah Brent I guess they didn't have any mint marks even though it is a one uh, sorry, no mint marks, even though it was San Francisco, apparently. 
Which I wouldn't be that surprised. Yeah, I mean, they could move the dies around to whatever mint they want. You know, it doesn't really matter. Michael Decker fires back with the 180. Ooh, E1 Guap in for a little bit of a battle here. Let's see. It could, it could go to Decker. I know Decker is definitely a whale. So I don't know how badly E1 Guap wants this one. But uh, definitely going up against a big shot. So we will see what happens here. 185. Okay, E1 Guap's not backing down. Not to give away the last buy it now. I was in before Finn. Oh, on the buy it now. Um, I did show... We could go back and look. It was on the screen. I'm, I'm pretty sure Finn Sen was the first on the screen, though. What do you mean by whale? Whale is just a, a big dog. But he's out, so I guess E1's going to get it. No mint mark on any silver eagles. Yeah, I guess not that early they didn't have any. All right, so it looks like E1 Guap's in at 185 on the Aztec. Silver Husky showing up after the Husky Poor Party. No, you were after him, says Will. Okay, thanks, Will. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I read it off the screen to make sure. But it's it's recorded, you know, Nate. So we can always go back and look. It's no issue. It, You know, these streams stay up forever. So, <laughs> yep, we got E1 at 185. So, Husky, uh, what all did you pour? Just curious, my friend. Fixitate, I guess you don't know how hard silver pouring is and how much work goes into it that's okay wills are those who drop the big bid says glenn cox absolutely as soon as i see my one on the screen we will go ahead and finish it off here looks uh rough making stamps yep you got stamping is is hard did you try and stamp husky live i'm just curious yeah it does have the ripples in the aztec touch absolutely it's a gorgeous piece all right. Uh, oh, Silver Husky. Oh, connection didn't hold up. Did it get too hot is my question. Because when I first started, I always had a tough time live streaming because it got too hot. And it, my internet stopped working. Congratulations, E1. You have won yet another one. Impressive, my friend. E1 Guwap. It's a beautiful piece. You're going to love it. Go up. You're going to love that Aztec. Absolutely. Will for sure. All right. And it's a heavy one, too. Oh, I can barely move it. Oh, so heavy. <laughs> okay, Michael. Have a great night. Met up with my neighbor, Guido Stack, and we poured some ingots. Did a sick dragon, too. Foam almost exploded. Yep. That's always the issue with the live streaming with that stuff. Always the issue. All right, so we're going to do just uh, maybe one or two more pieces before we do the final giveaway. Um, I picked these up. So I didn't make these myself, but they're really cool. So I thought we would go ahead and throw one up for auction and just see if anyone wants to bid on it. It's a copper. Um, 223 is the caliber. So I'm not even sure what the stamp says on there. But it is a pretty cool little copper bullet. It's pure copper all the way through. So we could just start the bidding at a dollar. David, you're taking off? Oh, you're saying later to Decker. Okay. So if anyone wants to bid on that, it's a cool little piece. Again, I didn't make it. It was probably made by a mint or something like that. But we could just start the bidding at a dollar. If anyone wants one of these cool copper bullets, nice little piece to add to the collection. It says uh, CU. So it says copper on it. All right. So pretty cool little piece. Silver dragons, do you use an arbor press for stamps or all hand stamped? Most of the stamps are hand stamped. Um, but I do have a 20 ton press and a six ton press that I use for some of the bigger stamps. Tim's in at five on that. It's a cool little piece. Dan's in at six. You know, a fun little one to end the stream off for the giveaway. 
We're already over three hours, so got to shut it down at some point. Coho Val in at eight. Yeah, it would make a nice stocking stuffer. If it was 308, I'd be in. <laughs> or 50 cal, right? Those would be cool. <clears throat> uh, it is solid, yeah. All the way through. It's just... It's just a solid copper piece. <laughs> solid copper. Nice little add-on, too, if you've already won something. Need to do a 30 yacht 6 Yeah, that'd be a cool one, wouldn't it, Glenn? All right, let's count it down to Coho Val here. Only 8 p.m. here. Do another three hours. Ah, I'd be dead, Brent. <laughs> I mean, I have a few more things, you know, we could auction, <clears throat> but I do want to do the last giveaway too. And then I got to package all this up and we got a new puppy. So I might have to package up all this by myself. Usually Mrs. Silver Dragons helps out. She's a ton of help. All right. Bring it down to a one. It's got to be a $1 increments, Dan. So last call, I got Coho Val at eight. As soon as I see the one on my screen, I'll hit sold here. <clears throat> yeah, fun little copper piece. It's uh, not a snipe though. <laughs> it has to be. It has to be one dollar increments till we get to a hundred. Then it's five dollar increments. But yeah, he's laughing. All right, I think it's gonna be sold. Um. As soon as I see the one. Yep, there it is. Sold. Congratulations, Coho Val. A nice piece there. Nice little stocking stuffer, I'm assuming. <laughs> As you know, you're shopping, Christmas shopping already. Congratulations. Okay, let's see here. Um, While we're on the copper train, let's do one more copper thing before the last giveaway of the night. I have one of these really cool proof Zombucks. We did another one for auction a while back, but these are super rare, super hard to find, They're ridiculously shiny. Oh, what up, Jack? How you doing, my friend? So this is the 2018 proof Zombucks. It's like the peace dollar. Look how shiny that is. It won't even focus. It's so shiny. You wanted some copper. We've got one more copper piece here. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get this to focus. I think we did last time. Eventually we got it to... There it goes. Wow, that took forever. But anyway... So these are sold out. So this is the proof version. So that is shiny in the background, right? It's the Zombux from 2018. It was a limited mintage. These are pretty rare. And they actually go for a ton of money on eBay. But... Uh, yeah, cool little piece. 2018 proof Zombucks. Copper. If you haven't seen the uh, the reverse on these, it's cool as well. It says Zombucks, currency of the apocalypse. One ounce, 999 fine copper. And it's super shiny. Yeah, copper dragon's out. Yeah, it's an interesting piece for sure. It's sort of like the peace dollar. But uh, yeah, the Zombuck series was very popular back in 2018. Yeah, <laughs> no face reveal. Not tonight. Not tonight. <clears throat> it's Steve Wood's ex-wife. <laughs> Dan B's in at 15 on this. Yeah, they're really shiny. The capsule's a little scratched up, but the piece has been in the capsule the whole time. That's how they came from the mint. All right, we got Danby at 15 on the Proof Zombucks. T-Wind at 25. If you look them up on eBay, you'd be surprised. They're really impressive. <clears throat> but T-Wind at 25. It's just a fun piece, and they're pretty hard to find now, especially the Proof versions. So it's a cool one. We could count it down to T-Wind, though. What up, Numismatic Collector? How you doing, my friend? Uh, getting ready for a uh, fun little giveaway to end out the night. Coho Val dropping the 26. Do a face reveal at 100K. Probably not. 
<laughs> if we ever get to 100k, we're only at 44,000 right now, so... You know, I mean, if we keep up this pace, it could take several years. What we really need is silver to go up to a hundo, then everyone will start watching my videos. <laughs> um, Mr. Nilbar, you do have to be a channel member to bid, my friend. If you'd like to register, it's the first link in the description. Uh, hit join, and then you'll your name will turn green, and you'll get a little dragon, and then you can bid. I'm doing really well. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, these auctions are definitely a lot more chill than the poor parties. I'm sitting down on my nice comfy leather chair, just chilling. <laughs> uh, last week was brutal. <laughs> Tim's in a 30 on this one. All right. Taking it to 30 on the proof copper Zombucks. Hey there, shark. Silver Shark. Yeah, what up, Silver Shark? How you doing? If Silver goes 100 anytime soon, we'll all be in trouble. <clears throat> yeah, I would say... I would say it depends on why Silver goes to 100, right? If Silver goes to 100 just because demand is crazy, then... You know... I don't think we'd necessarily be in trouble for that. Like, if a bunch of people are rushing into Silver because the stock market drops again or something like that. There you go, T-Wind. It's a cool piece, just like the peace dollar. <laughs> <clears throat> I doubt it's going to go to 100. I'm just saying if it did, I'd probably get a lot of views on my videos. Because when silver went down in March and then started climbing up, that's the biggest growth I've ever had on this channel. It was, it was crazy. Like So many people were getting into silver and gold. And a lot of them went to YouTube to get, you know, to get content. Uh, they wanted to learn about it, etc. So it, it's really good um, for my channel if there's big movements in the price. You know, 2018, 2019, everything was pretty chill. You know, I was grinding my way, making videos, lots of videos. But then it was just like I couldn't stop people from subscribing to me. And like, you know, through the summer was crazy. I think we even got like Tim just took his shirt off. I think we even got like, um, like almost like ten thousand subs in just like two months or something. It was crazy. All right, so let's count it down here to T Wind. Let's see if Tim wants to take a piece of that. If Trump won't leave after he gets voted out, the price will go up. What do you think it could go to? Well, you know, I don't want to make any predictions, but. This, it, it just depends, right? I mean, if we have another stock market crash and people are freaking out and a lot of people are rushing into metals and the dollar's collapsing and there's more stimulus and all these things, it could go super high. But, you know, that would be it'd be uh, something to see for sure. I think gradually over time, you know, silver will, will go up just as the dollar goes down. I think it's inevitable, but... All right, down to one. T wind, last call. As soon as I see the one on my screen. Ooh, FinCEN jumping in with the 35. Ooh, FinCEN want to get a little piece of the mix, piece of the pie. Before we end out the night here, FinCEN is saying, hey, I need to get another win here. <laughs> All right. Trump, price will go to 40 if Biden gets in. You know, possibly. We'll just have to wait and see. We'll just have to wait and see. I think it's all about, you know, the dollar going down, really. Just about 10 more. Tesla. Let's not talk about the stock market. <laughs> Tim. Uh, did that split yet? I, I saw something about it splitting, but I didn't know if it had not or not yet. Uh, T wins out. Looks like FinCEN might get this one. All right, let's count it down. I don't have any Tesla shares, so to me it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> Let's go to a one. As soon as I see the one, we'll say sold to FinCEN here. Let's see it. Yeah, FinCEN is at 35. A few shares of Tesla, too. Nice. Well, yeah, one of my buddies has got a, 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 quite a few shares, but 
I still don't know if it split or not. I just oh, it split last month. Okay. Dan B thirty six right before I hit sold. All right, Dan B is in. FinCEN is out. So wouldn't it have been better to buy it before the split? I mean, because then people see the the lower prices after the split and they're like, oh wow, Tesla's only a hundred. Let's buy some Tesla. I feel like before the split would have been better. But I don't know, maybe y'all did buy before the split. Who knows? Maybe buy some before, buy some after, huh? Don't like Tesla. Elon's giving American jobs to China. Huh. Month ago, split 24. Hundo split five ways. Just not about cars. All right, let's go down to a one. Last call here. We got Dan B at 36. Tesla tanking. Last time I looked down 5% this week. Yeesh. All right, as soon as I see my one, we'll go ahead and we'll sell this one to Dan B. All right, let's see here. More silent Trump fans than loud Biden fans. I'd say in general that's probably the case. Uh, Dan B, you're actually not. Are you out? Did someone outbid you? Sorry, let me look. Did I miss a bid? Dan not late. Snipe. Dan B. Dan 36. Uh, I still got you in, Dan. Are you good for the 36? Apply Silver Dragon Silver Dollar cost average to Tesla stocks. <laughs> got in at 415. Nice, Tim. That's awesome. Yeah, we'll check the replay, Nate, but I'm like 99% sure you didn't get it. Yeah, Dan B, we still got you at 36. We're going to sell it to you. I think he said he's out, but I'm pretty sure he's not. He's still in. I'm going to sell it if no one bids, Dan. We're going to sell it to you, my friend. Yeah, you were the highest bidder, so I don't know if you were just trying to... You think you're saying maybe you're out after 36. If you got bid, bid up or something. But you can email me, Dan. I'm, I'm pretty sure... You have successfully won, so there you go. As per the rules of the auction, you were a successful winner. Congrats. All right. Well, let's get to the final giveaway of the night before we shut her down. No worries, he says. So last giveaway, we're going to go ahead and give away a challenge coin for free to someone in the chat. Someone in the chat will win this absolutely free. Uh, this is silver plated. It's a, a metal alloy coin, challenge coin, very cool one. But it will be totally free. And it is number 98. Number 98 of the challenge coins. All right, so who's going to win it? We're going to go ahead and use this sticker. And I'm put a number on the back. We'll do it just like all the other giveaways. So good luck, everyone. These are available on the website if you want to check it out. I also got other poured silver available on the website. So it's silverdragons47.com. Go check it out if you like. Silver Damsel's trying to bid, but oh, you're just trying to guess. <laughs> you're probably going to be way off. I'm just going to assume you're going to be way off. But there's the sticker there. Good luck, everyone. It is unlimited guesses. <clears throat> as soon as, um, as soon as I put it in the chat, you can start guessing. You just have to have a USA shipping address, and I'll look at my screen to see who the winner is, and I'll proclaim the winner from my screen. So good luck, everyone. Let's do this thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we did a high number. <laughs> Oh, awesome. It was 1567. You had to think and then type. Think and then type. And it looks like Kirk Michaels is going to take it home right before Silver Shane. Congratulations, Kirk Michaels, on the awesome win. That's great, my friend. Kirk Michaels. Won the giveaway. 
That's awesome. It was a fun one. It was a fun one. End of stream giveaway. Congratulations. Didn't see that coming, says so Silver Damsel. So anyway, uh, that was the stream. <laughs> Silver Shade, son of a... Um, yeah, like I said, uh, that uh, dragon eye I have over on the side of the screen over here, I still have those available on my website, the 2020 versions. Uh, I've got the 2020 version of all my silver rounds, the Stackaholics round, the Silver Dragons poured silver round, and the uh, Dragon Legion round. Those are all available on my website right now, 2020 versions, if you want to check it out. Link's in the description. Um, T Wind 517, how do I pay for the auction? Uh, it's PayPal. Link is in the description as well. Feel free to check that out. Um, if you want to email me, T Wind, uh, I can also send you an invoice. So there you go. But uh, it was a fun night. Thank you, everyone, so much for showing up. If, like I said, if you bought something and you can't figure out how to pay with PayPal, just email me, silverdragons47 at gmail.com. I'll email you back and we'll get you all taken care of, all right? Forever is forever more known as giveaway day. <laughs> I appreciate everyone showing up. I'm going to shut it down. I got to start packaging up this stuff so we can get it all sent out tomorrow. So thanks again, and I'll see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons is officially out. Have a great night, everyone. Okay, email me, Dan B., and then I'll reply to you with my total. Uh, Kirk Michaels, shoot me uh, an email so I don't forget. Yeah, Quicksilver.